Warren County basketball is on the air, sponsored in part by Ashley's Attic, Flex Heating and Air, Tennessee State Speaker of the House, Cameron Sexton, Caney Fork Electric, Citizens Tri-County Bank, Collins River Barbecue, Diamond Jewelry, DM Simpson Realty and Auctioneers, Coffee County Bank, Ed Rogers Chevrolet, Fast Pace Health Urgent Care, First National Bank of Middle Tennessee, Foster and Foster Realty and Auction, Gateway Tire and Service Center, High Funeral Home, Ed Rogers Valley Ford, Tennessee Credit, Jay's Restaurant, Jason Lewis, Automotive, Come and Go Market, Lee Holland State Farm, 31st District Tennessee State Attorney, Lisa Z, McMinnville Electric System, Kevin Roden, your Farm Bureau agent in Morrison, McMinnville Electric Systems, Mud Bums, Paul Holder Realty and Auction, Pinnacle Orthopedics, Reddick Brown Ford, and Security Federal Savings Bank. Follow the Lady Pioneers and Pioneers all season. 92.1, the ticket. Now live to the gym and the voice of Warren County Sports, Jay Walker. From Charlie Dalton Gymnasium on the campus of Warren County High School. Good evening, everybody. I'm Jay Walker, set to sing you the play-by-play -play as the Warren County Pioneers and Lady Pioneers take on the Red Raiders and Lady Raiders of uh, Coffee County High School in Manchester. Our final battle with Coffee County before the tournament. Warren County has not fared too well against our visitors from Manchester this season. Both the boys and girls have lost. Coffee County girls come in ranked fifth in the state. And they have won 19 uh, games, uh, or 19 straight games. The only losses have been to Blackman, who are ranked number one in the state. Pioneer men coming on a two-game winning streak after uh, they, they defeated Shelbyville on the road. And then uh, last night, defeated DeKalb County on the road. So a sweep of Shelbyville and a sweep of DeKalb County. So Warren County riding some momentum coming in here tonight. It is senior night, very special night, a good crowd on hand here tonight, and they're still making their way into the Charlie Dalton Gymnasium. We invite you to come be a part of the crowd and support the Pioneers and Lady Pioneers. Good crowd from Manchester has made the trip, as they always do, to support their Red Raider basketball program. Both girls teams going through their pregame warm-ups tonight. And we'll have action for you in just a few minutes. After tonight, only one game remaining, and that will be Monday night here at Charlie Dalton as Warren County will host Franklin County in our final district matchup before the tournament. The tournament will be played in Shelbyville. Monday night's game will also be broadcast live on 92.1, the ticket, starting at 6 o'clock. All right, we'll take a break, and we'll come back with more from Charlie Dalton Gymnasium in just a moment. Ed Rogers Valley Ford has the answer. The Rogers family has been doing business the same way since 1956. Upfront pricing, no pressure, and complete freedom to shop the way you want. That's the Valley Ford promise with award-winning service and all the financing options to fit your needs. You owe it to yourself to take that short drive down Highway 111 to 111 Auto Lane in Sparta or visit edrogersvalleyford.com and experience the Ed Rogers Valley Ford promise for yourself. The way Farm Bureau Insurance does business is with personal service and a friendly smile. Kevin Roten, your local Farm Bureau agent in Morrison, is committed to being a stable influence in our community and to be there for his customers through life's uncertainties. Farm Bureau Insurance has you covered for auto, home, life, annuities, and health insurance. Located at 6282 Manchester Highway, that's the light at Bridgestone. Contact agent Kevin Roten today at 931-668-7075 at 668-7075 and see why Tennessee turns to us. Citizens Tri-County Bank continues to stay on the leading edge of banking technology. Whether you choose to do your banking inside our lobby, your car, your office, or from your phone, we make managing your accounts convenient, safe, and easy. Our mobile apps, online websites, and ATM options give you more flexibility and more time to do the things that are most important to you. In Warren County, we are all pioneers, and we are Citizens Tri-County Bank, the only community bank you'll ever need. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. 
As 2022 swiftly approaches, all of us at Foster & Foster Realty & Auction would like to say thank you to all of our customers and associates. 2021 has been a year filled with much sadness, but our hearts are so thankful for all who have allowed us to assist them with their real estate needs. Especially touching this year are the children who have been so involved in this process and the joy we've seen on their faces. Family is what homes are all about. Let us help you get started for 2022 by calling 931-473-6010 for all your real estate needs. Sports 24-7, 365, Sports Radio 92.1, The Ticket. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to welcome you to the Charlie Dalton Gymnasium for tonight's senior night, Warren County Pioneers and Lady Pioneers versus the Coffee County Raiders and Lady Raiders. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'll please rise and rem men remove your hats for the presentation of colors for tonight's senior night basketball game. Presenting the colors are five seniors from our Warren County Pioneer Battalion JROTC Senior Color Guard Team. Carrying the United States colors and commanding the team is Cadet Command Sergeant Major Senior Lucas Pesovic. Carrying the Tennessee State flag is Cadet Major Senior Thomas Turpin. Carrying the Pioneer Battalion's unit colors is Cadet Lieutenant Colonel and Senior Olivia Talbert. Left guard is Cadet Captain and Senior Jacob Cox. And the right guard is Cadet Captain and Senior Antonio Hernandez. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will. At this time, welcome Bailey Norad, and she will sing our national anthem. Starting lineups. <coughs> starting lineup for the Coffee County Lady Raiders. Back at Charlie Dalton Gymnasium. Time now at for starting guard. lineups. 
a with junior. With our lineups, here's our public address announcer, Jay Kevin Dunlap. Number 12, Jay Lee Rooley. At guard, a freshman, number 21, Olivia Vincent. At guard, a junior, number 22, Olivia Real. At forward, a senior, number 33, Ellie Chumley. And at center, a junior, number 44, Chloe Gannon. The Coffee County Lady Raiders are coached by Joe Pack Cope. Now let's hear it for our Warren County Lady Pioneers on senior night. Starting at guard, a sophomore, number 10, Sable Winfrey. Starting at guard, a junior, number 32, Shelby Smart. Starting at center, a senior, number 44, Sydney Berger. At guard, a senior, starting at number 24, Rudy Diarmon. And starting at forward, a senior, Number five, Jaden Smart. The Warren County Lady Pioneers are coached by Anthony Lippy. Starting lineups for tonight's ball game. Lady Pioneers got their 21st win last night over to Camp Kelly on the road. They'd like nothing better to, than to get their 22nd win here tonight over a team that they have been unsuccessful against. The Coffee County Lady Raiders. Warren County in the home white uniforms with red numerals. Coffee County black uniforms with red numerals. Warren County going with seniors in the starting lineup tonight. And Coffee County coming out with the opening tip. Shaley ruling with the basketball. Ruling, top of the key. Works at left side. Gannon, cross-court pass. Vinson, back to Gannon. Back to Vinson on the right side. Now top it goes. This is Real. Olivia Real being guarded by Winfrey. They work it to Ruling. Ruling high on the right side. Lays down the dribble. Cross-court pass to Real in the middle. Real works at left side. Inside it goes to Gannon, being double teamed. Throws it up and good. They had no answer for Chloe Gannon last time they played over at uh, Manchester. 2 0 uh, Coffee County. Here is Sable Winfrey. Works it to the right side. Shelby. Around to Winfrey. Winfrey giving out to Shaden. Back to Shelby. Top of the key. She'll pack it up. Ruling coming after her. They work it to the right side. Berger. Berger giving out top to Shaden. Shaden to Shelby, high on the left side. Shelby, now top to Berger, to the right side it goes to Shaden. Shaden giving out to Shelby. Warren County being very deliberate. Shelby Smart in the lane, trying to deal off down low to Berger, but it's going to be taken away by Ruling. Ruling deals out to Vincent. Vincent kicks it out to Rio, cross-court pass going to Ruling. Ruling will lay down the dribble and back it up, giving off to Vincent. Vincent, out top to Real. Back to the right side, Vincent. Down low, Chumley. Here's a three from Real. It's no good. Rebound is going to be chased down by Ruling. Ruling giving off inside to Gannon. Stripped of the ball, but they're going to call a foul. They're going to call the foul on... Jaden Smart. At the line will go Chloe Gannett. 
She is the leading scorer for Coffee County. First shot, no good. Two minutes in, uh, Coffee County leading 2 nothing. Now 3 nothing as the second shot is good. Warren County with the basketball, Shelby Smart. Shelby brings it past the timeline against Ruling. Smart in the middle, giving off on the right side to DeArmond. Now DeArmond, cross-court pass going to Shelby Smart. Shelby between the circles, works at left side. Jaden, loose basketball, is going to be stolen by Real. She'll take it in, lay it up, and good. And it's 5-0. Here's an offensive foul called against Sable Winfrey. It's 5-0, Coffee County. They've got the ball, inbound pass. Coming into Chumley. Now top it goes to Vincent, putting up a three, and it's good. Warren County is going to take a timeout. 5.20 to go in the opening quarter. 8-0 at Coffee County back in a moment. 30 seconds. Head coach the white team. Low on funds and money's a little tight right now. Tennessee Credit can help with consolidated loans, extra cash, or emergency funds with loans from $500 to $5,000 with approved credit. Stop by the office at 42 North Chancery Street and speak with Linda, Amanda, or Kristen for all your lending needs. They're open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30, and Saturday by appointment. If you've got questions, give them a call at 507-0111 and start your loan process over the phone. Prefer a new client and get a $50 bonus. Tennessee Credit is locally owned and a proud sponsor of Pioneer Sports. Fun friends and food. That's Collins River Barbecue located in historic downtown McMinnville. Stop by and dine in the best atmosphere for family and friends of Warren County. Let Collins River Barbecue take care of your big game meal with calf killer beer, wings, baby back ribs, and more by calling 507 Food. Like them on Facebook to keep up with special events. Our daddy has the best barbecue in town. Come on down to Collins River Barbecue. 117 East Main Street in historic downtown McMinnville. Check out our socials at 921 ticket. Warren County with a basketball trailing 8 0. 450 to go in the quarter. With the basketball, this is going to be Perkins. Perkins kicks it out. Here's a three from Hobbs. No good. Hobbs gets her own rebound. Kicks it out to Winfrey. Here's Shelby Smart out high on the left side. Now Shelby trying to drive, splits two defenders, lays it up. It's no good. Rebound taken away by Coffee County. Real in front court. Now Real between the circles, works at left side, ruling. Ruling being hounded by Winfrey. Ruling along the far side. Almost lost it, but got it back, kicks it out. Here is Vincent for a three, no good. Rebound Gannon. And she will have it stripped away, but they'll call a foul on Shelby. Shelby Smart kills you the foul. Cannon will be at the line shooting two. First shot for Cannon, no good. Second shot for Chloe Cannon. It is good. Got a good roll. It's 9 0. Cannon, uh, Coffee County. Here I go again, going to Cannon County for some reason. Coffee County out, out in front. Inbound pass coming in to Perkins. She'll drive in, puts it up no good, but draws a foul. Foul is going to work against Chloe Cannon, her first. Perkins at the line, first one, no good. Shanna Cannon will come in for Chloe Cannon. Second shot for Perkins, trying to get Warren Kelly on the scoreboard. 
It is no good. Orange County just cannot get anything going here in the early going. Here comes Chumley with the basketball. Works it to Vincent. Vincent cross-court pass to Real. Real cross-court to Ruling. Ruling trying to take it in. Bounce pass down low for Chumley being double teamed. Now works it inside. Taken uh, picked up by Warren County. Shelby comes out with it. Shelby being hounded by Real. Smart pass the midcourt line. Giving off to Sable Winfrey. Coffee County leading 9-0. 3.22 to go in the opening quarter. Winfrey going to drive off the glass. No good. Put back up. No good. But a foul is going to be called. Jaden Smart trying a put back. It wouldn't go. Foul is going to work against Olivia Real. Her first. Sounds like there's a lid on the bucket down here for Kelly. Trying to get on the board. This one is up and good. Second shot for Shaden Smart. It is no good. And out of bounds to the Lady Raiders. It's 9-1. to one. Lady Raiders on top. Benson will unbound. Sends it into Ruling. Ruling with the basketball and backward to Vincent. Back to Ruling. Lobs it to Vincent in front court. At the high post, it goes to Chumley. Now here's a three up and uh, no good. Rebound chased down by Warren County. It is Sable Winfrey. Winfrey takes it in. Plays it off the glass and good. And a foul. Sable Winfrey able to lay it in from the left side. Foul is going to work against Rulick. Well, apparently the foul that would not did not uh, was not committed against Winfrey because she's not going to the free throw line. But the bucket will count. Inside it goes to Gannon. She'll put it up. It's no good. Rebound taken away by initially by Warren County. Put back up by Cannon County. They miss by Coffee County again. Mia Hobbs in front court. Here comes Jaden driving in. Lays it up. No good. Rebound taken away by Chumley. It's 9-3. Coffee County. Benson with a three. That's not going to go. Rebound taken away by Warren County. Now stolen away by Chumley. And Chumley will be fouled. They'll call that on Sable, and that is her second. Not a shooting foul. Coffee County will inbound. Under their own basket, Gannon looking to inbound. Sends it into Chumley. Chumley being hounded by Winfrey. Chumley giving out to Benson. Cross court pass and they throw it away. Trying to hit real here on the near side. Passes off the mark and out of bounds. Coffee County leading 9-3. to three. Just under two minutes to go in the opening quarter here at Charlotte Dalton. Hobbs inbounds to Shelby Smart. And Smart will bring it up against Ruling. They get it to Perkins. Perkins out high. Tries to split two defenders. Gives to Smart. Smart. Out to Kelsey. Kelsey with a three. That's going to come up short. No good. Rebound taken away by Coffee County. Here comes Real in front court. Real works it right side to Chumley. Chumley at the wing. Goes to Ruling. Ruling bounce pass. Real out top. Back to Chumley. Chumley directing traffic. Lays down the dribble. Works it to the wing. Cross court pass going to Real out to Ruling, top of the key. Ruling backs it up. Bounce pass at the high post. They work it inside. Here's a layup. No good. Rebound battle four, and it's going to be a foul called against Coffee County. Foul is going to work against Shanna Cannon. Her first. Coffee County, 45. 
Benson checking back in for the Lady Raiders. Lady Raiders lead 9-3. to three. Just over a minute to go in the first quarter. Shelby Smart in front court. Picks up the dribble. Gives inside to Jaden. Back out to Perkins. Perkins trying to go baseline. Kicks it out to Hobbs. Hobbs will go baseline. And loses it out of bounds. 44 seconds to go in the opening quarter here at Charlotte Alton. And down pass coming in to Ruling. Ruling guarded by Kelsey. Gives to Vincent back to Ruling in front court. 35 seconds to go. Ruling works his left side to Rio, keeping it out high. Out top it goes to Chumley. Chumley lays down the dribble. Dribbles to the right side. Giving off to Ruling. 20 seconds to go. Ruling gives it the wing to Real. Back to Ruling out top. Over to Real, and they're going to call a foul on Mia Hobbs. Vinson will inbound, side front court. Ball comes in to Ruling. Ten seconds to go. Ruling, top of the key. Works it to the far wing. Inside it goes to the baseline, three seconds to go. Here's a steal by Kelsey. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. We played one and your score, the Lady Raiders nine, Lady Pioneers three. Back in a moment. Our President's Day sale event is going strong all month long here at Jason Lewis Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. With over 19 acres of vehicles to choose from, we have the new car, truck, SUV, or minivan that fits your needs. And during the President's Day sales event, we have prices for everyone's budget. Plus, get approved in just minutes with our easy financing options. And our new cars come with our exclusive 1 million mile, 10 year warranty. Come by today. We're conveniently located on 120 Auto Lane in Sparta, across from the Walmart. All offers with approved credit. See dealer for full details. Have you tried the hot and fresh Shakers pizza? If you have, then you know just how good it is. But what about the sandwiches? Shakers makes the best of those as well. Fresh breads, juicy meats, and melty cheeses that are simply delicious. Try the turkey sub, chicken bacon ranch, the Italian, or the Philly cheesesteak. Can't decide? Try the Shakers Club, piled high with all the good stuff. You can get a Shakers sub at the Come and Go Market on Lion Street in historic downtown McMinnville. Call in your game day order at 914-0007. Pizzas, subs, wings, and everything you need. That's Shakers. Like us on Facebook at 921 Ticket. Warren kicked out of bounds by Coffee County as Kyra Perkins driving the baseline. Warren County keeps it, trailing 9 to 3. Just underway in the second period. Ball comes into Kelsey. Kelsey giving off to Shelby. Back to Kelsey. Kelsey, cross-court pass, goes to Hobbs, top of the key, works at left side, Shelby. Shelby Smart, looking for a cutter. Lays down the dribble, cross-court pass. Kelsey thought about a three, gives to Hobbs. Hobbs, cross-court to Shelby. Shelby being guarded by Jay Lee Ruling. Shelby tries to split two defenders, has the ball knocked loose, and is picked up by Coffey County. Ruling coming out with it. Works it at the wing, down low, inside to Ruling. Back out top to Vincent, here's a three. It is high off the iron, no good. Warren County comes down with it. And it is Perkins with the ball. Perkins driving in, lays it up, good. Hard work by Kyra Perkins. It's nine to five. Ruling works it out to Chumley. Chumley cross court to Vincent. Vincent down low to Ruling at the wing on the right side. Back out top it goes to Real inside to Gannon. Gannon throws it up, no good. Rebound put back up and good by uh, Ellie Chumley. 11 to 5, Coffee County. Early in the second period here at Charlie Dalton. Senior night crowd on hand to see this one. Shelby Smart. Got to put up a three. It's good. Shelby Smart draining a three, and it's 11 to 8. Vincent on the near side, gives in the middle of Ruling. Ruling over to Rio, left side. Down low at the baseline, it's going to be Chumley. 
Chumley works it back out to the corner to Rio, and they will call a foul on the Lady Pioneers. Foul is going to work against Kyra Perkins, her first. At the line will go Olivia Rio. Rio puts it up, and it's no good. Second shot for Olivia Rio. It's good. 12 to 8, four point advantage for Coffee County. 5.48 to go in the second period. Here comes Shelby in front court. Shelby, top of the key. She'll put up another three. It's no good. Rebound taken away by Coffee County. This is going to be ruling. Ruling from the free throw line. Puts it up. It's good. Got a good throw. 14 to 8, Coffee County. Shelby will bring it up for the Lady Pioneers. Works it to the right side. Hobbs. Hobbs giving out top. Now to Shelby. High on the left side. Shelby. Out top to Savannah Winfrey. Shelby. Kelsey. Give it to Savannah. High on the left side. She'll give to Shelby. Shelby Smart. Being guarded by Real. Screen being set by Jaden. Now Shelby, keeping it at the top of the key, getting instructions from Coach Lippy. Now gives to Hobbs, high on the right side, cross court to Jaden. Jaden fires it to Savannah. Savannah kicks it out to Shelby. Shelby being hounded by Chumley. Now screen set. Shelby, top of the key, going to put up a long one. It's no good. Rebound taken away by Coffey County. Here comes Ruling. Ruling kicks it out. Here's a three. It is no good by Vincent. Rebound put back up and in by Gannon. Gannon now with six points. And it's 16 to 8. Warren County will get Sable Winfrey back in momentarily along with Rudy DeArmond. Shelby Smart works it high near side to Chaden. Now top it goes to Hobbs. Hobbs will back it up to Shelby on the right side. Now Shelby brings it back near the circle. Works it to Hobbs on the right side, being guarded by Vincent. She'll take it in, scoop layup, good, and a foul. Foul's going to go against Chloe Cannon, her second. Mia Hobbs with a scoop layup, and she'll be at the line for one. Shelby coming out to get a breather. Sable coming in, along with DeArmond. Shot from the line by Hobbs is good. 16 to 11. Lady Raiders on top. Ruling will take it in, throws it up there, and it's good. 18 to 11. Lady Raiders by seven. Here comes Winfrey. Winfrey, top of the key. Giving out to Hobbs. Now to Jaden, out top. Jaden gives to Winfrey. Now Winfrey. Going to take it all the way in. Lays it up. No good. Rebound taken by Savannah. Back out to Hobbs. Around to DeArmond. Down low to Jaden, back to DeArman, high on the right side. Out top to Savannah, and she'll give to Sable. Sable Winfrey near the circle. Sable will put up a three. It is no good. Rebound battle for. Warwick County comes out with it. DeArman given to Sable. Sable to Hobbs. Hobbs between the circles. 2.31 to go in the half. Here's DeArman. DeArman giving off to Winfrey. Sable Winfrey, top of the key, pass to the right side, goes to DeArmond. DeArmond lays down the dribble. Giving off to Hobbs. Hobbs is going to take it in. And has it stripped away from her, and she is also fouled. 
Foul is going to work against Ruling, her second. At the line will go Mia Hobbs. Shot by Hobbs is good. Second shot for Mia Hobbs. It's no good. Rebound taken by Cannon. Cannon giving off to Vincent. 2.09 to go in the half. Ruling. Cross court pass to Rio. Down low to Chumley. Back out to Ruling. Chumley at the baseline on the right side. Chumley backs up at the wing. Kicks it out to Ruling. Over to Rio. High on the left side. Rio works it down low. Here's a layup. No good. Rebound taken away by Savannah Winfrey. Winfrey giving to DeArmond. Down to Sable Winfrey. 135 to go in the half. 18 to 12, Coffee County. Murray County spreading out the offense. Sable Winfrey dribbles near midcourt. Rio coming out to apply some pressure on Winfrey. Winfrey kicks it out to DeArmond. DeArmond to Hobbs. They keep it out high. Hobbs to Winfrey. Winfrey takes it in the lane. Going to throw it up off the glass. And good. Sable Winfrey now with four points. 18 to 14. Here's Vincent at the wing. Works it back out top. Over to Real. High on the left side. Back in the middle it goes to Ruling. Ruling lays down the dribble. Back over to Real. 50 seconds left to play in the half. Real. High on the left side. Cross court pass going to Ruling. Down low it goes to Chumley. Back out to Ruling. Top of the key. To the near side it goes to Vincent. Back over to Real. Here's a steal. DeArmond almost with a steal. Knocks it into backcourt. 27 seconds to go. Ruling with the basketball and giving off to Vincent. Vincent cross-court pass to Rio. Down low it goes to Chumley. Back to Rio. Back to Chumley at the wing. Inside to Gannon. She'll throw it up. No good. Rebound taken by the Lady Pioneers with nine seconds to go. Here comes Hobbs. Hobbs in the lane. Tries to scoop layup. No good. Rebound taken by the Lady Raiders. Here's Rio putting up a long three, and it's no good. That'll be the end of the first half, and your score at halftime. It is Coffee County 18, Warren County 14. When we come back, I'll be joined by Warren County Pioneer men's coach Chris Sullins. Back in a moment, you're listening to Lady Pioneer Basketball on 92.1, the ticket. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we want to ask everyone in the gymnasium here at the Charlie Dalton Gymnasium to pay attention. We want to honor several of our seniors. This has been senior week, and the first um, club that we want to recognize our seniors tonight are our JROTC. First Sergeant Howard and Lieutenant Colonel Gibson do a great job with these young people, and we want to recognize some incredible young patriots and members of our JROTC program here at Warren County High School. First, Alpha Company Commander, Cadet Captain, Jacob Cox. Jacob is the son of Leslie Ming and Sean Cox. Jacob has participated in JROTC for four years. His future plans include serving his country 
by enlisting into the United States Army upon graduation. Jacob Cox. Delta Company Commander Cadet Captain Antonio Hernandez. Antonio is the son of Antonio Hernandez and Minerva Amagar. Antonio has participated in JRTC for four years. He has signed up for the United States Marine Corps Reserves to train as a combat engineer and then plans to attend Vanderbilt University in the senior ROTC to earn a commission as a naval officer. Senior Antonio Hernandez. Command Sergeant Major Lucas Pesevic. Lucas is the son of Pam and Greg Pesevic. Lucas has participated in JROTC for four years. He has signed up for the United States Army where he will be serving as a geospatial intelligence imagery analyst. Senior Lucas Pesevic. Battalion Commander, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel, Olivia Talbert. <laughs> Olivia is the daughter of Christy Isaacson. Olivia has participated in JROTC for four years. She plans to attend Tennessee Tech University in a senior ROTC program to earn a commission as an officer in the United States Army. Senior, <laughs> Olivia Talbert. Battalion Operations Officer Cadet Major Thomas Turpin. Thomas is the son of Aaron and Marie Turpin. Thomas has participated in JROTC for four years. Thomas has signed up for the United States Army, where he will serve as a biomedical equipment repair specialist. Senior Thomas Turpin. Let's hear it for these incredible seniors with our Warren County JROTC Pioneer Battalion Group. Thank you, seniors. And we appreciate what you're going to go on to do to serve our country. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Now, our senior pioneerette, Miss Millie Stone. <laughs> Millie is the daughter of Angelica and Jeremy Wellman. Millie has been a member of the pioneerette dance team for three years. Millie's future plans include attending college and eventually becoming a pre-K teacher. Senior. Millie Stone. And now for our seniors for Warren County High School basketball cheerleading, Gracie Brock. Gracie is the daughter of Bill and Michelle Brock. Gracie's been a member of the Warren County High School cheer squad for two years. She currently is serving as team captain. Gracie's future plans include pursuing a career in physical therapy. Senior, Gracie Brock. Senior, Emily Wilcher. Emily is the daughter of Patrick and Amy Wilcher. Emily has been a member of the Warren County High School cheer squad for four years. She is currently serving as team captain. Emily's future plans include attending University of Tennessee at Martin to pursue a degree in pre-vet. Senior, Emily Wilcher.
All right, Pioneer fans, let's hear it for our senior cheerleaders and Pioneerettes. Thank you, girls. We appreciate all your hard work through all the many years. We wish you all the best. care of business there and that's not an easy place to do that well that's not an easy place to do that but we've done it the last seven times i mean we're, we've won uh, we beat the cab county 14 times in a row and uh not that i like saying that but i do I, i've told many people the day we walked in the door the last 25 times we played the cab county they were 21 and four so if we're going to win basketball games in this area you're going to have to protect your borders and that was one of the first borders that i said had to stop and uh we just we, we i think our kids really think when they go to cab county they're going to win now and that's a great feeling to have uh i also think it's something that maybe dekalb county's thinking hey can, can we get over the hump with this basketball team so hey, i thought we played extremely well minus the first two or three minutes what i was impressed with our basketball team got down double digits this is not a basketball team that has been able to get down double digits and fight, scratch, and claw. And I think we fight, scratch, and claw and got our way back in the basketball game and then had an outstanding third quarter. And, and, and the last two games, we've been able to coach the game of basketball in the last three to four minutes. When you're down, and I don't want anybody to take this the wrong way, but when, when you're down 10, 12, 14 points, three to two to three minutes to go, you're, you're coaching, but you're hoping a lot – you're you're hoping that that miracles happen you know yeah. what i'm saying and we've only seen one of those in eight years and that was cj's deal and i've heard people say well i've never seen one of those again so i i guess what i'm saying is it allows us our coaching staff to to coach the game of basketball if you notice the last two nights when we've played it was kind of similar to things we did in the years past we got up we put the ball in our point guard's hands we allowed him to make good decisions we we took better shots and I think that's a recipe for our success, and we hope we can do that again tonight. All right, we got this Coffee County team coming in here, a team we haven't had success against this year. Uh, so maybe third time's charm. Third time I think is going to be a charm in this aspect. I mean, I know Coffee County does own this gym, but I, I hope they allow us to keep the gate because we got a big, big crowd tonight. <laughs> we'll see tonight. But I think our kids are, more, hey, they're in a better mental place than they've been in quite some time. I think we're as healthy as we've, as we've been. Uh, I, 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 we're, we, we think that we're probably going to get coffee if we look at it the way the district standings stack up, probably going to get coffee the first round of the tournament. Uh, I think we need to prove that we can play with Coffee County. It'll take four quarters. I think we get to 55 tonight, Jay, we win a basketball game. All right. When, when does the tournament start? Uh, we start, uh, if the girls will start February 14th. We start, we are on February 15th. And then the, uh, that's the, the uh, since there's only four teams, that's, that's basically one, four, yeah. two, three night. And then you got consolation and uh, championships yeah. on the uh, 18th for the girls and 19th for the boys. And all that's at Shelbyville, right? All of that it will be held at Shelbyville High School. You're exactly right. right. Our longest trip of the year, and we were talking about it, if that's the longest trip we make of the year, we've had pretty good road trips, if you know what I'm saying. Not yeah. having to go all the way over to Ray County. I remember their district oh, yeah. tournament. Oh, yeah. Don't you remember going over our three straight nights? Well, that was always <laughs> sure a do. fun, fun yeah. deal. Well, Coach, we thank you so much for stopping by. Best of luck tonight against these Red Raiders. Hey, we appreciate it, Jay. We're, hey, we're happy to have our senior night. Happy everybody's turned out. We're proud for what these seniors have done for Warren County basketball because they've been a part of a lot of success here lately. Absolutely. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. That's Coach Chris Sullins, yep. head coach of the Warren County Pioneer men's team, back with the second half in just a moment. Whole crew for all their favorite food. Steaks, wings, burgers, and so much more. $5 lunch specials, two-for-one Tuesdays, wing specials, and the list goes on and on. For all you sports fans, there's always a game on at Mud Bums and live music on the weekend. The best food, the best friends, and the most fun, Mud Bums is where you'll find all. Dine-in, carry-out, or delivery, just give them a call at 507-2867 or check them out on Facebook for all the latest events. Mud Bums is a proud sponsor of the Warren County Pioneer 
your sports. Honey, why can I see my breath inside the house? That's because somebody told me last August not to worry about getting the heat checked until winter. Oh, that's why. Ah, uh, yep. Don't wait until the temperature drops to find out your heater isn't working safely. Call Black's Heating and Air while the frost is far away and have them check your heater now. That's Black's Heating and Air, 668-0785. This is Benny Black. And this is Seth Black with Black's Heat and Air. Call today, 931-668-0785. Benny's slogan at Black's Heating and Air is once you've had black, you won't go back. The Vols play here. Sports Radio, 92.1, The Ticket. Looking for a new car but dreading the hassle, hidden fees, and pushy salesmen? Then Ed Rogers Valley Ford has the answer. The Rogers family has been doing business the same way since 1956. Upfront pricing, no pressure, and complete freedom to shop the way you want. That's the Valley Ford promise with award-winning service and all the financing options that fit your needs. You owe it to yourself to take that short drive down Highway 111 to 111 Auto Lane in Sparta or visit edrogersvalleyford.com and experience the Ed Rogers Valley Ford promise for yourself. Are you thinking about buying your first home or maybe downsizing or upgrading from your current home? Is it just time for a change? Paul Holder Realty and Auction Company can answer all your questions about buying or selling. Paul Holder Realty and Auction Company is a family-owned business that's been serving Middle Tennessee since 1955. Stop by their office today at 108 East Main Street in McMinnville, or you can call at 473-7321 to get the area's hardest-working real estate company working for you. Firm license number 33. UT Play here, Sports Radio 92.1, the ticket. In the third quarter, Coffee Kelly with a basketball. Chumley down low in the corner, back out to Rulli. Coffee Kelly leading 18 to 14. Ruling worth near side to Vincent. Vincent down low to Chumley. Out to Real, top of the key. Loose basketball to steal. By Warren County, driving down low is Winfrey. Sable Winfrey lays it in. Credit that steal to Rudy Diarmid. 18-16, Warren County has cut it to two. Early in the third period. Here at Charlotte Dalton. Ruling. Sends it at the wing to Chumley. Chumley out high to Vincent. Round to Real. Here's a three from the corner. No good. Rebound taken by Coffee County. Bounce pass inside to Gannon, and Gannon puts it up and in. Gannon now with eight points. 20 to 16. Coffee County on top. Sable Winfrey, top of the key, gets the screen. Going to take it in off the glass and good. Sable with eight points. Long pass to front court goes to Chumley. Chumley kicks it out. Here's the three from Real, no good. Rebound taken away by Shelby Smart. Shelby brings it to front court. She's going to take it all the way in. All the way in, puts it up, no good. Rebound taken away by the Lady Raiders. Real already make that ruling with the three, and it's nothing good. 23 to 18. Five and a half minutes to play. Third quarter here at Charlie Talson on senior night. Sable Winfrey with a basketball double screen set at the top of the key. Winfrey takes it to the right side, kicks it out to Shelby. Shelby Smart brings it to the middle, giving off to Winfrey. Sable Winfrey lays down the dribble, gets the screen, puts up a three. It's no good. Long rebound, chased down by Winfrey. Winfrey out to Shelby. Here's a three. It's good. Shelby Smart nailing a three-pointer. And it's 23-21. Here comes Rilling taking it all the way in. Puts it up. It's no good. Rebound is going to go out of bounds. Last touch by Coffee County. Warren County will get Kyra Perkins and Mia Hobbs in the lineup. 4.41 to go in the third period. 23-21. Lady Raiders. Sable Winfrey will bring it up. Winfrey walks it past the timeline. Gives it to Shelby. High on the left side. Shelby will put up a three. It is not going to go. Rebound taken by Perkins. Back up and good. And a foul. Count 
the bucket for Perkins. The foul is going to go on Chloe Cannon. That is her third. So the big post player getting into a little bit of foul trouble here in the third period. Perkins at the line for one, and it's good. Gordon County has taken the lead for the first time in the game, 24 to 23. Backward pressure by Warren County. Here is Chumley. Chumley tries to take it in. A foul is going to be whistled against Warren County. And they're going to call that on Sable Winfrey. That will be her third. So Sable getting into some foul trouble. Inbound pass coming into ruling. Ruling at the high post. Has it stolen away. Warren County, here's Perkins, Perkins missing the shot, but she'll be in the line as she draws a foul. <laughs> foul is going to go against Ruling. She's got three. Kyra Perkins at the line, shooting two. It's good. Kelsey checks in for Sable. Second shot for Perkins. It's no good. And the rebound's taken by the Lady Raiders. 25-23. Lady Pioneers up by two. Just under four minutes to go in the third period here at Charlotte Dalton. Really. High on the right side. Now ruling in the middle. Works it to the right side. Vincent. Vincent to the high post. Gannon. Back to ruling. Bounce pass out top. Real. Ruling high on the left side. She'll lay down the dribble. Back out top it goes to Real. Real back to ruling. Now ruling top of the key. Correcting traffic. Ruling works it to the right side. Real. Down low to Gannon. Gannon lays it up. No good. Rebound put back up and good by Chumley. Those two bookends there. Chumley and uh, Gannon make it hard for Warren County to rebound. Game time, 25 apiece here in the third quarter. Shelby Smart getting a double screen at the top of the key. To the high post. She puts it up. It is no good. Rebound taken away by Cannon. Here come the Lady Raiders. Long pass to front court going to Real. Fires it inside for Chumley. Chumley lays it up and in. And Warren County wants a timeout. 27-25 Lady Raiders back in a moment. Is be treated right when you arrive at Ed Rogers Chevrolet Buick with the new Chevrolet and Buick vehicles plus a great selection of quality used vehicles. At Ed Rogers Chevrolet Buick, there's also an outstanding service department proud to be family owned for over 50 years. So come on in and see how good it feels. Get that great feeling of saving money today at Ed Rogers Chevrolet Buick in Sparta and at RogersChevy.net. Have you picked out the plans for that new home you've always dreamed about, found the perfect home for your expanding family, or is it time to update your current home with a home equity line of credit? We can help answer those questions and help make your dream a reality. Stop by the friendliest bank in town for local bankers and faces you know and trust. Security Federal Savings Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. 92.1, the ticket. Warren County with a basketball trailing 27 to 25. Here's a three from Shelby, partially blocked and taken away by the Lady Raiders. And they'll call a foul on Kyra Perkins. Her second. Savannah Winfrey will check in. Taking the place of Jaden Smart. Ruling will bring it up for the Lady Raiders. 2.15 to go in the third period. Working it to the right side. Vincent Gannon at the high post. Shanna Gannon now in the basketball game. She is a three-point threat. Now top it goes to Vincent. 
Back to Gannon. Cross court to Ruling. Ruling backs it up high on the left side. Cross court pass going to Gannon. Gannon inside. Put up by Gannon. No good. Rebounded by Gannon. Put back up. No good. Put back up again. No good. But a foul is going to be whistled. He'll go against Shelby Smart, her second. Those two Cannon girls just tower over the Lady Pioneers. And it's going to be Chloe Cannon at the line for two. It's good. Chloe Cannon with nine. Second shot for Cannon. Good. 29-25. Coffee County on top. Sable Winfrey playing with three fouls. Winfrey with the basketball. Works at left side to Perkins. Perkins. Giving off to Winfrey. Back to Perkins. Here's a three. Good. Power of Perkins with a three. 29-28. Chumley to Gannon. Gannon out top to Ruling. Ruling works it to the right side, Finson. Here's Gannon driving in, puts it up, no good. It's partially blocked. Partially blocked again, but picked up by Ruling. Ruling fires it on the bounce pass over to Finson. High on the right side. At the high post, Chumley back to Finson for the three, and it's good. 32-28, Raiders by four. 31 seconds to go in the quarter. Double screen set, here's a three from Sable, no good. Rebound battle for, and it's picked up by Coffey County with 20 seconds to go. Here comes Ruling, top of the key. Getting it down low to Gannon in the corner. Chloe Gannon putting up a long one. No good. Rebound battle for. Picked up by Gannon. Bowls over Sable. Can't believe there wasn't a charge there. That'll be the end of the third quarter. At the end of three-year score. Lady Raiders 32. Lady Pioneers 28. Back with the fourth quarter in just a moment. Your final arrangements in advance at Heis Incorporated allows you to create a memorable funeral service that will reflect your individual wishes and beliefs. You can plan a celebration of your life as simple or as elaborate as you wish. It can be every bit as unique and special as you are. So call or come by Heis Incorporated today and let us help you make your wishes known. Heis Incorporated, serving McMinnville and the surrounding areas since 1925. We serve because we care. My life is always on, every single day. And the electricity my co-op provides is more essential to it than ever before. It allows me to shop online while I'm watching TV and keeps my mobile phone charged so I can return the 10 missed calls from my mother. I depend on the electricity from my co-op to power my life and keep me connected every single day. Learn more about the power of your co-op membership at togetherwesave.com. Call Caney Fork Electric at 473-3116. Sports Radio, 92.1, The Ticket. The fourth quarter, Warren County with the basketball. Here's Shelby Smart, high on the left side, getting a screen from Jaden. Shelby's going to take it in, put it up, and good. Shelby now with eight points. 32-30, to two-point advantage for Coffey County. Here's Ruling, long pass to front court. And timeout is going to be asked for by Coffey County. Timeout on the floor back in just a moment. Back in just a moment. All right, we will keep it here during this 30 second timeout. 7.33 to go in the game. Two-point lead for Coffey County, 32-30. to 30. Hey! 
Coffee County will inbound. They send it in to Ruley. Ruling works it to Gannon on the right side. Loose basketball picked up by Chumley. Here's Chumley driving in, putting up no good, but drawing the foul. They're going to call that a Sable. That is her fourth. Shot by Chumley is no good. Sable coming out with four fouls. Free and Kelsey coming in. Shot by Chumley is no good. Rebound taken down by Warren Kelly. Here come the Lady Pioneers. Here's a three. No good from Kelsey. Rebound taken by Perkins. Perkins brings it out high on the right side, giving off to Shelby. Shelby Smart with the dribble. Takes it high on the left-hand side, being guarded by Ruling. Double screen set. Shelby takes it left side, giving out top to Chaden. Jaden works it to the right side. Perkins. Perkins lays down the dribble. Takes it in the lane. Going to lay it up. It is good. Tyra Perkins for the Levitt. We're tied 32-32. Ruling in front court. Ruling, top of the key. Fires it left side. Cannon inside to Chumley. Down low to Chumley. Puts it up. No good. Gets her own rebound. Puts it up and good. That is Chloe Cannon. Big tall post player. 34 to 32, Lady Raiders. Warren County has led once in this game. That was briefly in the third quarter. Cross court pass going to Jaden. Back to Shelby, near side. Back over to Jaden. Sends it down low to Perkins. Here's Shelby with the three. It's good. Shelby, Shelby Smart with a three pointer. Warren County back out in front. 35 to 34. 5.51 to go in the game. Vincent, high on the right-hand side, works it out top. Ruling inside to Chumley, back out to Vincent, open for a three, and it's good. And we've got timeout. 5.37 to go, it's 37.35, Coffee County, back in a moment. Our President's Day sale event is going strong all month long here at Jason Lewis Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. With over 19 acres of vehicles to choose from, we have the new car, truck, SUV, or minivan that fits your needs. And during the President's Day sales event, we have prices for everyone's budget. Plus, get approved in just minutes with our easy financing options. Our new cars come with our exclusive 1 million mile 10 year warranty. Come by today. We're conveniently located on 120 Auto Lane in Sparta, across from the Walmart. All offers with approved credit. See dealer for full details. Happy Valentine's Month from all your friends at Gateway Tire and Service Center McMinnville. If your vehicle is due for some tender love and care, we've got quality tires, expert auto service, and if you use your Gateway Tire credit card, it is stress-free financing and low monthly payments. We look forward to serving you. McMinnville's home for Sports Radio 92.1, The Ticket. Back at Charlie Dalton, Jay Walker sending you all the action tonight. On senior night, good crowd on hand here tonight at Charlie Dalton. Good game, too. Coffee County leading by two, 37-35. Warren County with possession. Kyra Perkins giving off to Shelby Smart. Shelby guarded by Ruling. Shelby works it to the right side. Perkins. Perkins takes it down low. Giving out to Jaden. Jaden will take it in. Throws it off the glass. And good. Jayden score. We're tied again. 37 apiece. Ruley. Works it to Chumley high on the left side. Chumley takes it in the paint. Kicks it out. Here's another three from Vincent. No good. Vincent getting her own rebound. Given to Chumley. Back out to Ruley. Warren County having problems with defensive rebounds tonight. 
Vincent at the wing. Out top it goes to Real. Thought about a three. Back over to Vincent. Inside it goes to Chumley. Chumley back around to Ruling. Back out top to Real. Real inside the Chumley. They kick it out to Ruling. Back out to Real. Real for the free throw line. Shoots and scores. 39-37, Lady Raiders up by two, 4-10 to go in the game. Double screen set at the top of the key for, for Shelby, and the ball is taken away from Shelby. Here comes Vincent in, and they'll call a foul on Shaden. Vincent lost the ball as she went in for the shot, but they're going to say that uh, she was fouled by Shaden. Does not bring a positive response from the Pioneer fans. Olivia Vincent at the line, no good. Sable Winfrey will enter the game. She's got eight points and four fouls. Coffee County up by two, 39-37, just under four minutes to go. Shot put up and good by Vincent. 40 to 37, Raiders by three. Sable Winfrey, top of the key, double screen, takes it to the high post, giving out to Savannah. She'll put up a three. It's not going to go. Rebound taken away by Ruling. Ruling fires it down inside to Cannon. Cannon double teamed, back out to Ruling. Ruling will back it up. Bounce pass inside goes to. Chumley, Chumley will put it up. No good. Rebound taken by Warren County. Here comes Sable. 2 on 1. Sable will take it in. Give it to Savannah. Savannah puts it up and in. Savannah Winfrey with the finish. Give an assist to Sable. Here comes Real, top of the key. Out to Ruling. Raiders lead 40 to 39 with three minutes to go. Chumley. Kicks it out. Here's a three from the ruling, and she hits it. 43-39. Big three-pointer by Coffee County. 2.46 to go. Here's a three from Sable. It's not going to go. Rebound taken by the Raiders. And we've got a, an intentional foul somewhere. They're going to call an intentional foul on Kyra Perkins. I didn't see what she did. Well, I didn't see what Perkins did. But they call it intentional foul, which works like a technical. And so Ellie Chumley will be at the line. It is no good. Second shot for Chumley. Four point lead for the Raiders. Second shot for Chumley on the way. It is good. Raiders get it back after the intentional foul. They lead 44 to 39. 240 left to play. Ruling will bring it up. Works it to front court to Vincent. Shumley cross court to Real. Real out to Ruling. Ruling over to Vincent. High on the right side. At the high post, it goes to Shumley. Here's a three from Vincent. No good. Rebound taken by Shelby. Shelby Smart speeds into front court. Smart in the lane. Puts up a jumper. Good. Lady Pioneers take a timeout with 2.04 to go. It's 44-41. Lady Raiders back in a moment. 
For nearly a century at Heisen Incorporated, it's been our mission to provide local families with meaningful funeral service arrangements that honor the memory and accomplishments of their loved ones who've passed away. We provide a safe, warm, and inviting atmosphere so that families have a familiar place to come together and share the experience of a final farewell with their loved ones. Heisen Incorporated, serving McMinnville and the surrounding areas since 1925. We serve because we care. Citizens Tri-County Bank is proud to support Warren County Pioneer Athletics. These sports build character, integrity, and goodwill, all traits vital to success. It's the same mentality in which we do banking. Since 1972, Citizens Tri-County Bank has been serving customers across this region with the highest customer service standards. Stop by any of our four locations in McMinnville and Warren County and experience a different kind of banking atmosphere. Citizens Tri-County Bank, the only community bank you'll ever need. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Warren County's home for sports radio, 92. 2.1 The Ticket. Three point lead for the Lady Raiders, and they'll have the ball with two minutes to play. Ruling will bring it up. Here comes the trap. Gets it to Chumley, back to Ruling. Ruling backs it up in the circle. 149 to go. Warren County down by three. Warren County may be forced to foul. Ruling dribbles inside the circle. Here comes the trap. Works it to the right side. Back to Ruling. Loose basketball on the floor. Who's going to get it? There's a scrum. And I think they're going to give it to Coffee County. They're going to say Coffee County had the ball and took a timeout. All right, timeout on the floor, 128 to go, back in a moment. It's the moment of truth, mere moments before the big game. Win or lose, we know that you'll make us all proud. This is the District Attorney's Office wishing the Warren County Pioneers a successful season. Whatever happens in the game, the District Attorney's Office is proud of your determination. Keep doing what you're doing. The 31st District Attorney's Office serving Van Buren and Warren Counties. Bank local. Bank with Chase. Allow Chase McGee to use his 17 years of banking experience as your personal banker. Call Chase today, 224-8046 or 474-1976. Coffee Bank and Trust, a division of Coffee County Bank. Member FDIC. Sports. All day, every day. Sports Radio, 92.1. The Ticket. 128 to go. 44-41. Lady Raiders, and they'll have the ball. Inbound pass coming into Ruling. Being guarded by Winfrey, who's playing with four fouls. Back over to Chumley, now back to Ruling. 117 to go. Looking at left side to Rio. Vincent, back out to Ruling. Taking time off the clock. And forcing Warren County to foul here shortly, probably, if we can't get a steal. Rio keeping it out high. We're under a minute to go. Fast pass to the right side. And a foul is going to be called on Mia Hobbs. This will put the Lady Raiders in the one and one. At the line will go Olivia Benson. Benson with 10 points in the game. This one is up and good. Second shot for Fenson on the way. It's good. Five-point lead now for the Lady Raiders. 50 seconds to go. Shelby will put up a three. It's no good. Rebound taken away by Coffee County, and here's a foul. Foul is going to work against Mia Hobbs, her third. At the line will go Jaylee Ruley. She's got 10 points. It's good. Second shot for Ruley is no good. Warren County comes away with a rebound. 37 seconds to go. Here comes Sable. Sable will take it in. It's good. 
Warren County with a timeout. We'll take it with them. 32 seconds to go. Back in a moment. Go back in a moment. Fast Pace Health. Easy access to care every day. Looking for an alternative to full waiting rooms at local clinics? With Fast Pace Telehealth, providers can help determine via face-to-face -face digital interactions what treatments would best relieve the patient's urgent care illness, pain, or discomfort. Utilizing a smartphone or tablet, get safe and effective care through the convenience of telehealth. Our Fast Pace Telehealth providers may also prescribe or refill many common medications. So that's urgent care and refills. Register online at fastpacehealth.com telehealth. This is your state representative, Tennessee House Speaker Cameron Sexton. I want you to be aware that big insurance companies are trying to force your local pharmacy out of business by slashing their fees, their services, and mandating you use a mail order company. Don't let big insurance sway you from using your local pharmacy and the pharmacists you know and trust. Next time you go to the drugstore, ask what you can do to help fight back. Pay forward, Cameron Sexton, State Representative Mark Elmore, Treasurer. People before politics, not just a slogan. It's my promise. Sports Radio, 24-7, 365, 92.1, The Ticket. Coffey County will inbound, and here's a foul called on the Lady Pioneers as Ruling goes sliding into the student section over across the way. Warren County wanting a, an offensive foul called on Coffey County, but they don't get it. Foul is going to go against Shelby Smart, her third. It'll be ruling at the line. It'll be one and one. 29 seconds to go. 47-43 Raiders. This one's up. It is no good. And they will call a foul, I think, on... Uh, they're going to call a, a foul on Ellie Chumley. Now Coffee County fans are howling about that. Down pass comes into Sable Winfrey, 24 seconds to go. Winfrey sends it down low. Shot put up, no good, but a foul is going to be called. Jaden Smart will be at the line for two. Call, the call is going to go against Chloe Gannon, her fourth. Jaden Smart will be at the line shooting two. 20 seconds to go. Shot by Jaden, no good. Second shot for Jaden coming up. It is no good. Rebound battle for. Who's going to get it? Jaden's got it. Puts it back up, no good. Puts it back up, no good. And a foul is going to be called. That is Kyra Perkins, who will be going to the line. She may be shaken up. That's going to go with Chloe Cannon. I thought she already had four, but apparently that is her fourth. Kyra Perkins will be at the line shooting two. 15 seconds to play. First shot for Perkins. Rims out. No good. Second shot for Perkins. It's no good. Out of bounds. It will stay with Warren County with 13 seconds to go. Warren County will get Brian Kelsey in the lineup. We've got a full timeout coming. 13 seconds to go. Back in a moment. To go back in a moment. Want to know how you can earn $1 credit every month? Change your billing preference to emailed bill or e-bill. You can start adding to your piggy bank $1 each month just for choosing eBill with MES. And by the way, eBill has other advantages. You get to see your bill sooner. As soon as it's produced, no need to wait on the mail. You get to view your bill from your email on your computer or on your smartphone. Use the MES Power app to change your preference from paper to eBill and earn $1 a month. Who says a dollar doesn't buy much? Shining the light on your future since 1939. 
over 60 years, McMinnville in Warren County has trusted the Diamond Jewelry Company with memories that last a lifetime. Diamonds, wedding bands, anniversary rings, pearls, earrings, or gemstones. It's all right here in our hometown. Would you trust those precious memories to just anyone? David Stinson is a fourth-generation jeweler, and you can trust that he knows exactly what your gift of fine jewelry means to you. Visit him at their showroom on Main Street in downtown McMinnville. Diamond Jewelry Company. They sell memories. Sports 24-7, 365. Sports Radio 92.1, The Ticket. 13 seconds to play. Warren County down by four. Inbound pass comes into Jaden Smart. Jaden puts it up and in. Five seconds to go. Here's a foul in backcourt against Ellie Chumley. Foul is going to work against Jaden. 3.6 on the clock. And it will be two shots for Chumley at the line here in the double bonus. So we need at least one miss here and a quick rebound. The three officials will confer about something. Head referee coming over and uh, telling Coach Lippy something. Three point six seconds to go. 47-45 Coffee County. First shot for Chumley is good. And this is a big one right here. This this could sink the pine, Lady Pioneers if she hits this one. It's no good. Jump ball. There we go. There we go in favor of Warren County. Actually, it was out of bounds. It'll go to Warren County, but only 1.9 on the clock. So let's see who they can see if they can get it to somebody, and then a desperation shot. It comes into Shelby. Long one. That's not going to go. And a heartbreaker for Warren County. But they played their hard south tonight. Their final score. Coffee County 48. Warren County 45. We'll take a break. Come back and uh, recap the girls game in just a moment. Again, your final. Coffee County 48. Warren County 45. Back in a moment. is with personal service and a friendly smile. Kevin Roten, your local Farm Bureau agent in Morrison, is committed to being a stable influence in our community and to be there for his customers through life's uncertainties. Farm Bureau Insurance has you covered for auto, home, life, annuities, and health insurance. Located at 6282 Manchester Highway, that's the light at Bridgestone. Contact agent Kevin Roten today at 931-668-7075 at 668-7075 and see why Tennessee turns to us. Fun Friends and Food, that's Collins River Barbecue, located in historic downtown McMinnville. Stop by and dine in the best atmosphere for family and friends of Warren County. Let Collins River Barbecue take care of your big game meal with calf killer beer, wings, baby back ribs, and more by calling 507-FOOD. Like them on Facebook to keep up with special events. Our daddy has the best barbecue in town. Come on down to Collins River Barbecue. 117 East Main Street in historic downtown McMinnville. Check out our website, 921ticket.com Are you thinking about buying? We would like for you to at this time show our gratitude on senior night for three of our incredible Lady Pioneer seniors. Sydney Berger. Sydney is the daughter of Marcy and Chad Berger. Sydney has been a member of the Lady Pioneer basketball team for four years. Sydney plans to attend college and pursue a degree in nursing. Senior Sydney 
Berger. Rudy DeArmond. Rudy is the daughter of Lori and Jason DeArmond. Rudy has been a member of the Lady Pioneer basketball team for four years. Rudy's future plans include attending Motlow State Community College. Senior Rudy DeArmond. Senior, Jaden Smart. Jaden is the daughter of Cindy and Jason Smart. Jaden has been a member of the Lady Pioneer basketball team for four years. Jaden's future plans include attending Tennessee Tech University and majoring in nursing. Senior, Jaden Smart. Let's hear it one more time for these incredible three senior Lady Pioneers who have led our Lady Pioneer team to amazing, outstanding winning season this year. Thank you girls for your leadership and your dedication to Lady Pioneer basketball. And now for our seniors, Pioneer basketball. J.J. Brown. J.J. is the son of Lucretia and Jason Brown. J.J.'s been a member of the Pioneer basketball team for four years. His plans are to attend Tennessee Tech after graduation. Senior, J.J. Brown. Keldrick Cox. Keldrick is the son of Marlena Gailey. Keldrick has been a member of the Pioneer basketball team for four years. Keldrick's future plans include attending Chattanooga State and majoring in business management. Senior Keldrick Cox. Caden Desmaris. Caden is the son of Shannon and Sean Desmaris. Caden has been a member of the Pioneer basketball team for four years. Caden's future plans include attending TCAT after graduation. Senior, Caden Desmaris. Chance Hunter. Chance is the son of Suzanne and Charlie Hunter. Chance has been a member of the Pioneer basketball team for four years. Chance's future plans include attending MTSU and becoming a real estate agent. Senior, Chance Hunter. Eli Kirkendall. <laughs> Eli is a son of Libby and Mark Kirkendall. 
Eli's been a member of the Pioneer basketball team for four years. Eli's future plans include attending Freed Hardeman University on a baseball scholarship and to earn a bachelor's and master's degree in finance. Senior Eli Kirkendall. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your seniors, pioneers and lady pioneers. Let's give them one more round of applause. Thank you, gentlemen, for your leadership on the Pioneer basketball team for all these years. We appreciate your service. Thank you. Out on hand here tonight for Kelly, falling just short, 48 to 45. We'll come back with more from Charlie Dahls and Jim in just a moment. and emceeing local events. Ryan and his wife Ashley are raising their kids to be good stewards, just as they were raised. Ryan is devoted to Warren County Chance and a proud supporter of Pioneer Basketball. That's why we turn to the law office of Ryan J. Moore. the opening of the full service location of Coffee Bank and Trust serving Warren County. Come visit us today at 1502 Smithville Highway. Allow Chase McGee to use his 17 years of banking experience as your personal banker. Call Chase today, 224-8046 or 474-1976. We look forward to taking care of all your banking needs. Go Pioneers! Coffee Bank and Trust, a division of Coffee County Bank, member FDIC. South Flooring, we've been selling and installing all your flooring needs since 1980. Our showroom at 309 Garfield Street here in McMinnville has all the biggest brands in hardwood, carpet, tile, vinyl, luxury vinyl plank, and more. As a family owned and operated company, we have a very simple motto. Quality you can stand on. We are a proud supporter of Pioneer Athletics. So on behalf of the entire team here at Old South Flooring, we just want to say, Go Pioneers! at Charlie Dolls and Gymnasium. Lady Raiders of Coffee County. Squeak by tonight as they uh, defeat the Lady Bideers 48 to 45. For Coffee County, they were led in scoring by Olivia Benson and Chloe Gannon, each with 12 points. Jaylee Ruling with 11. Olivia Real with five. Ellie Chumley with eight. 
from the free throw line tonight. Coffee County was 11 of 19. For the Lady Pioneers, they were led tonight by Shelby Smart with 13. Kyra Perkins had 11. Sable Winfrey with 10. Mia Hobbs with 4. Shaden Smart with 5. From the line tonight, Warren County, 5 of 12. So Warren County with 21 wins, chance to make it 22 this coming uh, Monday. If they would like to have had this one, they are 0 for 3 against Coffee County this season. But there's still the tournament coming up starting on the 14th. Again, your final score tonight, Coffee County 48, Warren County 45. Boys teams warming up right now. We'll have that game for you coming up in about 12 minutes or so here at Charlie Dalton. Good crowd here tonight for senior night. We'll take a break, come back with more in just a moment. And let me help you find those answers. We offer a variety of competitive mortgage products. I will work hard to find what's best for you and your family. Come see myself or any of the knowledgeable staff of Security Federal and let us help you. We're the friendliest bank in town. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Happy Valentine's Month from all your friends at Gateway Tire and Service Center McMinnville. If your vehicle is due for some tender loving care, we've got quality tires, expert auto service, and if you use your Gateway Tire credit card, it is stress-free financing and low monthly payments. We look forward to serving you. Like us on Facebook at 921-TICKET. Funerals provided by Heise Incorporated play a valuable role in the grieving process. As families begin the journey forward, a well-organized funeral can strengthen family bonds and create lasting memories that will lift the spirits in the days and months to come. A funeral at Heise Incorporated is meaningful, memorable, and offered at a cost that is within the means of all the families we serve. Heise Incorporated, serving McMinnville and the surrounding areas since 1925. We serve because we care. At Reddick Brown Ford, we know it takes hard work, dedication, and heart to succeed. All the local communities that we service are hardworking individuals that are the heartbeat of this country. Our goal at Reddick Brown Ford is to help you in whatever life throws at you. We specialize in maintaining up-to-date technology to help provide a faster and more efficient service for all their customers. Let us help you succeed in life at Reddick Brown Ford, located on Manchester Highway, 668-2177, or find us on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram. Follow us on Twitter at 921 Ticket. Back at Charlie Dalton Gymnasium here at Warren County High School. Both boys teams going through their pregame warm ups right now. We'll have action for you coming up a little bit later. Well, one more uh, regular season game to go for these teams for Warren County. They'll host Franklin County this coming Monday night here at Charlie Dalton. That game had been scheduled for January 7th, but it was uh, postponed due to weather. They moved it to tonight, to, to a Monday night, rather. So that'll be uh, Monday night right here at Charlie Dalton Gym. Warren County against Franklin County. In district action, he'll wrap up our regular season. Again, the tournament begins the 14th and 15th. Those games we played at Shelbyville. We were just there the other night, and we get to make that drive again. So at least uh, at least two trips to Shelbyville for the tournament. While we've got a moment, let's recognize our Pioneer Level uh, sponsors for Three Point Club. We do so much for Warren County Pioneer Sports. That includes Sam and Lisa Brock, Chris Springs Market, Garrett's and Stone, and more. Medley's Diner, Security Federal Savings Bank, Topre, Coffee Bank and Trust, First United Mortgage, Gammy's House, One and Two, Paul Holder Realty and Auction, Smile Doctors, Jimmy's Conditioned Air, Summons Trucking, Triple C Nursery, also Mud Pumps, Smooth Rapids, Crater's Barbecue, Saxby's, Tops, and Keepsake Cadbury. Just some of the sponsors of our three point club who do so much for Warren County High School basketball, Pioneers and Lady Pioneers. 
We'll take a break, come back with more in just a moment. Okay, apparently we can. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Nothing gonna happen. We'll just stay here and uh, watch them warm up here. Good crowd here tonight, senior night. A number of seniors for the Lady Pioneers and Pioneers have been recognized along with their parents. Very emotional night. Warren County Lady Pioneers really wanted this one tonight, and uh, so some of those were, some of those late young ladies were very emotional as they were unable to get it done here tonight. But still uh, the best season the Lady Pioneers have enjoyed in uh, many years. Warren County had, uh, I think, 18 wins back during the Eric Bayard coaching uh, tenure several years ago. Last time they won over 20 was back, I think, either the late 90s or early 2000s when they won 22 games. That team included uh, Jessica Grayson and Jennifer Wilson, both of whom have been uh, honored. Jessica, one of the assistant coaches at Oklahoma State University. She was here just uh, maybe a week or two ago. And, of course, Jennifer Wilson, a Hall of Famer at Trebekah University. So this team uh, from Warren County, they have really done a lot. And when you think back two years ago, two wins the whole season. Last year, 12 wins. And this year, they've already they've got 21, a chance for 22 on Monday. And we've still got the postseason to go. Pioneer men really wanting this one. Coming in on a two-game winning streak. Wins over Shelbyville on the road. And last night, they won over to Camp County on the road at Smithfield. That's never an easy thing to do. So, uh, hopefully, Pioneer's starting to peak. You're just at the right time. They haven't had any success against Coffee County this year. They'd like to change that for sure. So we'll see what happens here later on tonight. information. Uh, Coach Bayard's team went 17-15 in 2013-14. And that is the only other winning season since 2000. And information coming from uh, our friend, the Warren County Sports Authority, Jeffrey Simmons. Thank you very much. But Bayard's team was exciting, that's for sure. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they hosted uh, Walker Valley here in the region. First time the Lady Pioneers had hosted a region game in uh, many years. Let's see if we can get some information on this uh, boys team from Coffee County. I thought we were going to have some information, but maybe not. <laughs> we apologize for the uh, awkwardness here because uh, they can't, they're not letting us take our breaks as we normally would. Okay, here we go. Boys District standings right now. Franklin County at 5-1. Coffee County at 5-2. Warren County at two and five, and Shelbyville at one and five. So Warren County is not in the cellar. 
Girls District standings, Coffee County 6-0, and Warren County 4-2 and in second place. Franklin County 1-5, and Shelbyville 0-6. Oh Coffee County scoring leaders for the girls, Chloe Cannon averaging better than 12 points a game. Olivia Benson, who hit some key threes tonight, averaging 10. Ellie Chumley also averaging 10. And Shannon Cannon averaging seven and a half. They still got some more games to play. After tonight, they'll be at Shelbyville. Then they'll be at Franklin County next Tuesday. And then they'll play at their arch rival Tullahoma on the 11th. So Coffee County still got a few games to play. The Raiders are coming off a 41-29 two overtime loss to Franklin County Tuesday, which snapped a six game winning streak. Warren County beat DeKalb County last night, 58 to 52, and they've won two straight. Last meeting, Coffee County beats the Pioneers 50 to 38 in Manchester. Boys teams finishing their pregame warmups. Warren County in the home white uniforms tonight with blue numerals. Coffee County wearing red with black numerals. Glad to have you with us tonight on 92.1, the ticket. We're also on television tonight on uh, WCS-TV, channel 180, and we're on YouTube as well. A lot of folks watching with us tonight, I'm sure, and listening to us on the radio. Of course, there's always old faithful 1230 AM WAKI. We're still there. And we're on uh, 1230 WAKI.com on the Internet. So a lot of different ways to catch Florida County sports in 2022. Just moments away from starting lineups tonight. The good girls game tonight, very entertaining. With Warren County coming up just short, but uh, I'll tell you what, again, those girls played their hearts out tonight as they've done all season long. Time now for starting lineups. And here's our uh, public address announcer, Kevin Dunlap. We'd like to welcome you to the Charlie Dalton Gymnasium. And now for our boys game, the Coffee County Raiders versus the Warren County Pioneers. Starting lineup for the visiting team, Coffee County. At guard, a junior, number zero, Dane Crossland. At guard, a senior, number 11, Brady Nugent. A guard, a senior, number 12, Aiden Abalana. At forward, a senior, number 33, Phineas Roman. At forward, a senior, number 35, Connor Shimwell. The Coffee County Raiders are coached by head coach Andrew Taylor. Now let's hear it for our Warren County Pioneers. For senior night, our starters tonight. At forward, a senior, number 25, J.J. Brown. At guard, a senior, number 10, Keldrick Cox. At forward, a senior, number 20, Caden Desmaris. 
at guard, a senior, number 21, Chance Hunter. And at forward, a senior, number 12, Eli Kirkendall. Warren County Pioneers are coached by head coach Chris Sullins. Again for the Raiders, Crossland, Nugent, Avalana, Shimwell, and Roman. For Warren County, Kirkendall, Desmaris, Cox, Brown, and Hunter. A little bit different for senior night. Desmaris jumping for Warren County against Roman, and Warren County comes out with the opening tip. With the basketball, it's going to be Cox. Cox over to Desmaris, high on the right side, gives in the middle to Brown. Brown over to Cox, left side. Out to Hunter, over to Desmaris. Desmaris out top to Brown. Kirkendall thought about a three. Giving out top to Brown. Brown to Cox, high on the right side. Keeping it out high. Cox, give it to Hunter. Around to Brown. Back out top to Cox. Right side, Desmaris. Desmaris to Kirkendall. Kirkendall makes a move inside, and he traveled. So a quick turnover by Warwick County. Raiders in red uniforms with white numerals. Raiders will have the ball as Avalana will bring it up. And Avalana works at left side, giving off to Crossland. Cross court pass. Now they go inside. Shimwell back around to Avalana, giving off to Nugent. Nugent deals off inside, back to Roman. Roman at the high post, out to Avalana. Avalana lays down the dribble. He'll back it up. Avalana calling out the play. Works it to the right side. Crossland. Now top to Shimwell. Around to Nugent. Nugent to Crossland. He is a three-point threat. Avalana is two. He'll put one up. No good. Rebound taken by Brown. J.J. Brown gives it to Cox. Cox backs it up. Deals off to Kirkendall. Here's Hunter in the lane. Out to Kirkendall. Kirkendall at the high post. Over to Cox. Cox looking for a screen. He'll take it in. And they'll call him for traveling. Two minutes in. Still no score. Here in boys action at Charlie Dalton. Aiden Avalana. Giving off to Crosland. Back to Avalana. Nugent. High on the left side. Nugent to Avalana. Bounces it inside. And loose basketball picked up by Brown. Brown given to Cox. Cox splits two defenders, works it down low for Kaden Desmarais. The left hand side. Warren Kelly is on the board. Nugent at the far wing, out to Crossland, putting up a three. No good. Rebound to Avalana. He puts it up. I don't know if it's going to count. Going to call it on uh, Cox. Not a shooting foul, inbound pass coming into Shimwell, putting up a three. It's good. Warren County against the backcourt pressure. Here comes Kirkendall. He will be fouled. Foul is going to work against Apollata. His first. Not a shooting foul, and Kirkendall will inbound under the Warren County basket. Sends it into Hunter. Cox, top of the key. He'll back it up. Works it over to Hunter, high on the right side. In the middle it goes to Brown. Brown, bounce pass. Kirkendall saves it in bounds, but it's going to go to Coffee County. Here comes Nugent, 2-1-1. Nugent will lay it up. Good. 
Five to two, Coffee County. Inbound pass coming into Cox. Here's a double team. Knocked out of bounds by Coffee County. Warren County will get Sawyer Seymour in along with Nate Elrod. Hunter and Brown will have a seat. Cox sends it into Kirkendall. Here's a double team on Kirkendall. He gets it to Seymour. Seymour to Elrod. Elrod in front court. Cox out top over to Kirkendall. Bounce pass down low. Goes to Desmaris. Back out to Cox. 4.25 to go in the first quarter. Screen set at the top of the key by Desmaris. Here's Cox keeping it out high. Down low to Elrod. Back to Cox. Back to Elrod in the corner. Give back to Cox. They work it to Seymour. Here's the three. It is no good. And on the rebound attempt, a foul will be whistled against Caden Desmaris. Four oh eight to go in the opening quarter. Five to two. Coffee County. Brady Nugent. Nugent dribbles high on the left side, giving in the middle to Shimwell. Around to Roman. Roman fires it inside. To Shimwell, he'll put it up. No good. Rebound Roman back up with it. No good. And out of bounds, it will go to the Pioneers. Cox will inbound against backward pressure. Sends it into Seymour. Seymour to Cox. Cox past the timeline. Sends it to Desmaris. Desmaris given to Cox. Out to Seymour. Here's a three. Cool. Seymour hitting a three. And we're tied at five apiece. Avalana top of the key. He kicks it out to Crossland. Crossland takes it in. Throws it up. No good. Rebound taken away by the Pioneers. Cox coming out with it. Cox in front court. Sends it down low. Here's a baseline jumper. No good by Elrod. Rebound taken away by Roman. Roman's going to hold up and he'll give it to Nugent. Back to Roman at the wing. Roman works it out top to Shimwell. Shimwell being guarded by Desmaris. He'll give to Avalana. Back to Shimwell, out top to Roman, to the right side to Avalana, out top to Nugent. Nugent, he was off in the corner, it's no good, rebound taken away by Nugent. Back to Roman in the corner, driving the baseline, he, well a foul is going to be called against the Pioneers. It's going to go against Kirkendall, his first. Cox coming out, getting a breather, being replaced by Triton Terry. 2.33 to go in the opening quarter, 5-5. Five to five. Inbound pass comes into Avalana. Calling out the play, Avalana between the circles, guarded by Terry. Works it left. Now in the middle it goes to Roman. Roman to Crossland, a three by Crossland, no good. Rebound put back up, no good. And taken away by Warren County. And a foul is going to be whistled against Coffee County. Coming down with the rebound was Kirkendall. They'll call the foul on Connor Shinwell, his first. Kirkendall will inbound, backcourt pressure. Inbound pass. Coming into Seymour, double team. Here's a steal. Shot put up and no good. Rebound taken by Warren County. Terry brings it to front court. Terry will take it in with a floater. Good. Brayton Terry with a beautiful shot. Seven to five pioneers. Avalana works it to the near wing. Back to Avalana. He'll put up a three. It's no good. Rebound taken away by Kirkendall. Kirkendall to Terry. Terry speeds it to front court. Works it out to Seymour. Here's a three. It's no good. Rebound taken away by Avalana. Avalana works it out to the corner. Here's a three. No good by Nugent. Rebound taken by Terry. 
Terry fires it to front court to Seymour. Back to Terry in the middle. Terry to Kirkendall. Cross court pass going to Seymour. He'll back it up. Nugent coming after him. Kirkendall high on the left side. Knocked out of his hands and out of bounds. Cooper Reed coming in for Coffee County along with Jalen Osborne and Jackson Shimwell. Warren County will inbound. Pioneers will inbound right in front of the Coffee County, uh, Coffee County bench. Rather. Trayton Terry will bring it up. Terry. From the high post, puts it up. It's good. Nine to five, Warren County. Here's Avalana for the Raiders. Now top is Crossland. Crossland giving off to Osborne. Osborne over to Reed. Reed to Shimwell. Jackson Shimwell will kick it out to Crossland. Crossland will take it in. Throws it up, no good, and a foul is going to be whistled against the Pioneers. They're going to call it on Nate Elrod, his first. Team, team uh, fourth. John Thompson checks in for Coffee County. Jackson Shimwell will inbound. Under the Coffee County basket. Ball comes in to Avalana. At the near wing. Guarded by Terry. Avalana brings it out high. Avalana backs it up near the circle. Works it to the right side to Shimwell. Shimwell bounce pass goes inside. Shot put up. No good. Rebound taken away by Warren County. It is Grayson with the rebound. Here's Terry. Terry going baseline. He will be mauled underneath, and so Terry will be at the line, uh, shooting two. Powell will work against Thompson, his first. Team third. Creighton Terry at the line, shooting two. First shot for Terry, good. Desmaris checks back in for Kirkendall. Second shot for Terry. It's no good. Rebound taken by Shimwell. One second to go. And that will be the end of the first quarter. At the end of one, it's Warren County 10, Coffee County 5. Back with the second quarter in just a moment. Just a moment. Orthopedics has two convenient office locations in McMinnville and Sparta and is one of Middle Tennessee's leading providers of orthopedic care. Now available, Rosa, a robot to aid knee replacements. This technology not only means better outcomes for patients, it means you can get the care you need closer to home. Pinnacle Orthopedics serves residents of McMinnville, Sparta, Smithville, Cookville, Manchester, Woodbury, Spencer, Dunlap, Crossville, and more. To get the best orthopedic care, call them today at 815-2663 or 738-406. Our President's Day sale event is going strong all month long here at Jason Lewis Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. With over 19 acres of vehicles to choose from, we have the new car, truck, SUV, or minivan that fits your needs. And during the President's Day sales event, we have prices for everyone's budget. Plus, get approved in just minutes with our easy financing options. And our new cars come with our exclusive 1 million mile 10 year warranty. Come by today. We're conveniently located on 120 Auto Lane in Sparta, across from the Walmart. All offers with approved credit. See dealer for full details. The Pioneers play here. Sports Radio 92.1, the ticket. We're underway in the second period. Warren County with a basketball. Seymour putting up a three. It's no good. Rebound taken away by Elrod. Cox high on the right side. Coffee County had the ball first. They missed on a three attempt. 
Warren Kelly with the ball now. Grayson, give it to Cox. Lob goes inside for Desmaris. Out to, to uh, Seymour for three. Good. Second three of the game for Sawyer Seymour, and Warren Kelly leads 13 to 5. Dobbs, that's going to be an offensive foul on top. Dobson. They're going to call that actually on Brady Nugent. His first. Warren Kelly will have the ball, leading 13 to 5 early in the second period. Warren Kelly passes it in the front court to Cox. Grayson down low to Elrod. Elrod back out to Cox. He'll back it up. Cox guarded by Nugent. Spring sends the top of the key. Nugent staying right with Cox. Back to Grayson at the wing. Grayson giving out top to Elrod with a floater. It is no good, but a foul is going to be called against Coffee County. They'll call that on uh, Jalen Osborne. Who's first? Elrod at the line, shooting two. It's good. Second shot up coming for Elrod. Herkendall back in. Second shot for Nate Elrod. He puts it up there, and it's no good. Rebound taken away by Desmaris. Desmaris out to Kirkendall. They'll work it around. Elrod out top to Cox. Cox backs it up. Now Cox tries to take it in. May have been partially blocked, and it's Coffee County coming out with it. Bounce pass down low. Here's the layup. Good. Nice play. Mike Crossley. I'll make that Nugent. Here's a steal by Coffee County, and then they're going to be called for traveling. Osborne came, came up with a steal, but he hit the floor, and he's called for traveling. Warren County will have the ball, leading 14 to 7. Inbound pass coming into Cox. Keldrick Cox. Guarded by Nugent. Brings it left side, giving out top to Seymour. Back to Cox. Cox. Out top. Desmaris. Back to Cox. High on the left side. Cox brings it to the middle. Pass left. Goes to Kirkendall. Kirkendall splits the defenders. Reverse layup. No good. Rebound taken away by Nugent. Nugent sends it down low and out of bounds. Reed unable to handle the pass. 5.33 to go. Coach Sellins over there saying something to the official. Cox will inbound. Cox sends it into Kirkendall. Back to Cox. Cox over to Seymour. Sends it down low. Desmaris lays it up. Good. Desmaris now with four points. Warren Kelly leads 16-7. Shimwell lobs it inside for Osborne. He puts it up. No good. Rebound being batted around. And a foul is going to be called against Coffee County. That's going to go against Osborne. His second. Creighton Terry will come in for Warren County. Eli Kirkendall will inbound for the Pioneers against backward pressure. Kirkendall sends it into Terry. Terry on the run. Here's the baseline jumper by Desmaris. No good. Rebound put back up. No good. Terry getting the rebound. Tries to deal it off to Kirkendall, but it's stolen. Driving in is going to be Crosland. He lays it up and in, and it's going to be foul. Foul is going to work against Sawyer Seymour, his first. Dane Crossland will be at the line for one. Uh, 
Shot by Foslin, no good. Rebound put back up by Roman, no good, but he's fouled. That foul's going to go against Kirkendall, his second. And so Phineas Roman will be at the line shooting two. His first one is good. Warren County will get Isaiah Cummings in the lineup, replacing uh, Kirkendall. Second shot for Roman. It's no good. Rebound taken by Coffee County. Here's a three up and no good by Shemwell. Knocked out of bounds. He'll go to Warren County. More rebounding is a problem against this big Coffee County team. Warren County leading 16 to 10. 4.42 to go in the second period. Warren County in front court. Cummings. Here's Terry. Top of the key. He'll put up a three. It's good. Creighton Terry with a three-pointer. That is 19 to 10 Pioneers. Shemwell with a baseline jumper. No good. Rebound taken by Shemwell. Gets his own rebound. Works it out to Croslin. And here's a double dribble on Shemwell. 4 11 to go in the half. Warren County leading 19 to 10. Elrod inbounds to Terry. Terry back to Elrod. Backcourt pressure by the Raiders. Warren County works it to front court. Terry, top of the key. Tries to fire it inside. It's going to be deflected and stolen. Here comes Crosland. He'll lay it up. Good. Speedy Bane Crosland. Making the play for the Raiders. Cross-court pass going to Cummings. Now to Terry. Again, tries to fire it over here to, to uh, Seymour, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds by Coffey County. Pass comes into Cox. Cox in front court. Warren County leading 19 to 12. Three and a half minutes to go in the half. Jumper Cox setting a screen. Cox brings it to the middle. Works it to the right side to Elrod. Back to Cox. Now Cox maintaining the dribble. Works it left. Seymour back to Cox. Here's a three from Elrod. It is no good. Rebound. Elrod back up with it. No good. Rebound taken away by, here's a steal by Seymour. Seymour takes it in, puts it up, no good. Rebound taken by the Raiders. Here comes Roman. Roman to Crossland. Crossland. Shimwell puts it up, no good. Gets his own rebound, puts it up and in. 19 to 14. Rebounding a real problem for Warren County in the first half. 235 to go in the half. Seymour. Down low to Desmaris. Back out to Cox. Back to Seymour. Back out to Cox in the middle. Back to Seymour. Trying to send it down low. It's deflected but picked up by Desmaris. He gives to Seymour. Double teamed. Back out to Cox. 2.14 to go. Cox near the midcourt line. Fires it to Seymour. Back to Cox. Over to Cummings. Cox to Seymour. Here's a three. It is no good. And rebound taken away by the Raiders. Under two minutes to go. Here comes Shimwell. Stripped of the ball. It's picked up by Elrod. And a foul, I think, is going to be called. Foul is going to go against Jackson Shimwell. It's first. It's going to be a one and one for Elrod. Warren County will get Alex Van Buren in, along with Braylon Grayson. Nate Elrod at the line for one and one. Warren County leads 19 to 14.
Shot by Elrod is no good. Rebound taken away by Roman. Here comes Avalana. Avalana at the near wing. He'll bring it out. High on the right side. Cox supplying pressure. Fired inside for Avalana. Shot put up. No good. Rebound Cox. Cox on the run. Look out from behind. He's able to get it to Cummings. And then Cummings crashes into the official who crashes into a cheerleader. Up against the door there at the lobby. After all that, Coffee County will have possession. Uh, two officials discussing something. Chance Hunter checks in for the Pot Hears. 127 to go in the half. Gordon Kelly leads 19 to 14. Inbound pass coming into Avalana. He'll be met at midcourt by Cummings. Bounce pass at the wing going to Nugent. Nugent to Shimwell. Turnaround jumper by Shimwell. Good. 19 to 16. Warren Kelly with a lead. Here's Cox. Brings it to front court. Inbound pass. Saved inbounds by Grayson, but here comes Coffee County, and he walked. Dane Grayson with a lay-in, but he walked. And Warren County will hand the ball with 51 seconds to go. Cox to Van Buren. Van Buren. This pass is going to be intercepted by Roman. Roman giving to Amelana at the wing. Back out to Roman, 38 seconds to go. Roman gives to Nugent. Here's the midcourt line, guarded by Cummings. Nugent giving to Crosslet. Back over to Nugent, 27 seconds to go. Avalana in the middle to Nugent. Here's a three from Crossland, no good. Rebound taken by Nugent. Back to Avalana, 15 seconds to go. Roman at the far wing, cross-court pass, going to Crossland. Here's the three from Shemwell. It's good. And that's the end of the first half, and we are tied 19 to 19. Red Raiders with the momentum as we go in at halftime. Again, your score, Warren County 19, Coffee County 19, back in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, the Warren County High School Pioneerettes. Tonight, the Pioneerettes are performing a special senior night dance featuring senior Millie Stone. As a Pioneerette, Millie has been a national finalist in both the Palm and Game Day divisions, third place in the TWSAA State Palm Championships and has been ranked in the top five in both the state and nation in both Palm and Game Day divisions. Millie was named an NDA All-American this year at the team's annual summer camp. Ladies and gentlemen, senior Millie Stone and your Pioneerettes.
option. Keep doing what you're doing. The 31st District Attorney's Office serving Van Buren and Warren Counties. UT plays here. Sports Radio 92.1. The Ticket. Anthony Lippi. Crowd's excited about something, but I'm not sure what. I think Jaden Smart uh, maybe have gotten a promposal over okay, there. Okay, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, it seems like that's become a tradition <laughs> on senior night here. Yeah, yep. So we didn't do that back when I was in high school. Yeah, we, we didn't just, either. I uh, missed I miss that. You're we lucky just to get a date. I know. Anyway. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tough effort by the Lady Pioneers tonight. I know they wanted this one on senior night, yep. and they, they played their hearts out, absolutely. Uh, Coffee County just uh, one shot too many, and uh, they win it 48-45. to Yeah, they uh, like you said, they're always tough, but I was, I was just proud of our girls and how hard they fought and just want to uh, say to the seniors that, you know, we're proud of, of them and everything they've done for our program to help. You know, they were here when I, I first came in, and, and we were trying to change some things and, and, and try to try to build a program, and, and they definitely did that. Uh, and Rudy and, and Sydney and Jaden uh, just couldn't be more proud of them. So proud of uh, just to be their coach, and you know couldn't say enough about them. They're they're great young ladies. Yeah, I know I sound like a broken record, but I keep going back to two years ago when they only won two yeah. games, and and you know you could tell they were definitely a work in progress, but yeah. you know they, they couldn't pass, uh, you know just had trouble communicating on the yeah. on the court and uh, couldn't couldn't shoot, and right. what a, what a difference in two years. Yeah, no, it it, it was uh, I knew when when I came in uh, that was a class of, I think maybe six seniors had graduated. Yeah, you know we had only had two girls that that had any varsity experience. I think they're combined average was three points so we knew that it was going to be a, a ground zero start from scratch build this thing and, and try to get better and and uh, you know I can't say enough about those girls because they they knew we were trying to build some new system new coaching staff knew everything and and uh you know they believed in me they trusted that that i would try to direct them in the in the right way which is which is tough alone you got to build the culture before you can right. you can go anywhere as far as scoring points and uh, it's a testament to the type of girls that we have and their character um and 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 so yeah it's been a, it's been a long road you know year two you we win 12 games through the covid year uh, and then you know here we are this season with with 21 it, it, it's a it's amazing how how far they've come. Yeah, it's fun. Been fun watching them uh, grow. Shelby with 13 tonight. Kyra with 11. Sable with 10. Yep. Uh, you know some Jaden coming in and, and uh, you know coming off that injury the first game of the season and yeah uh, really uh, good to see her coming on uh, as we we've gone on and getting better and better yeah and making the plays and uh, of course uh, I was I was impressed with the arm and she made some big plays tonight on defense yeah yeah she uh, she stepped us for us and and like I said the seniors and and Sydney got in there and battled the Gannon girl a little bit and yeah. so you know, good <laughs> good to see <laughs> good to see them get those minutes and, and help our basketball team. Yeah, Gannon girls just a little too much for us. 12 points tonight. Uh, uh, and, you know, of course, the the Gannon, the Gannon girl plus the other taller girls on there, the Chumley girl, yeah. we couldn't rebound. I, guess. No, I mean, yeah, too many, you know, second chance points in the paint. And that's where they kill you. They're, their guards are huge, you know. And then on top of that, you've got the Vinson girl that, that can flat yeah. out shoot it. And, and, you know, when she's hitting like that and it stretches the defense, it's hard to keep that ball out of the middle to get it, you know, they get it down to Gannon or get it, you know, high-low to Chumley and then down to Gannon. Yeah. Um, and so that, I'm telling you, they're, they're the number five team uh, in the state for a reason, yeah. you know, in, in Class 4A, um, a while back they had only lost by one point to Blackman. So, I mean, for us to come in here and, 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 and go blow for blow, extremely yeah. proud. You know, there are a few calls here and there that could, could really change the game there, and, and tonight it just didn't go our way. So, well, um, well, a chance to get your 22nd win of the regular season coming up Monday night against Franklin County. Yeah, they're uh, they're coming here Monday for the makeup game, and so you know we're gonna we're gonna try to see if we can put a game plan together and and uh, see if we can get number 22. All right, well, coach, 
Thanks for stopping by. Best of luck Monday night against the Rebelettes. Thanks, Jay. That's Coach Anthony Lippy, head coach of the Warren County Lady Pioneers. We'll be back with the second half in just a moment. Fast Pace Health, easy access to care every day. You're not alone. Don't wait to reach out before a small problem becomes a larger one that affects your physical, mental, and social health. Fast Pace Behavioral Health offers consultations in clinic or fully virtual at home. We're here for conditions such as depression and anxiety. We provide individual therapy, medication management, and more. Healing emotional issues is just as important as physical issues. Choose Fast Pace Health Behavioral Health for a confidential appointment. Visit fastpacehealth.com slash behavioral health. 92.1 The Ticket Jay's Restaurant, home of the good food, invites you out this Valentine's Day for their Mix or Match special. Treat your sweetie to her choice of two hand-cut ribeye steaks or the mouth-watering half-rack ribs. Jay's Famous Baked Potato or French Fries and a trip to the salad bar. All this for $26.99. That's right, all this plus the appetizers, $26.99. Don't wait to take your Valentine out for Valentine's Day. This special is going on right now. Jay's Restaurant is conveniently located inside the Three Star Mall. Jay's is proud to only use the best products available. Jay's and the friendly staff welcome you. Simple pleasures, courtesy of the Energy Right program from TVA and your local power company. The cool underside of the pillow, long hot showers, and best of all, reasonable electric bills. Whether it's a hard-working electric water heater or a high-efficiency heat pump, you're saving money with the Energy Right program simply by enjoying the little things in life. For information, call your local power company or visit energyright.com. Call Caney Fork Electric Cooperative today. Sports Radio, 92.1, The Ticket. Back at Charlie Dalton Gymnasium, we begin the second half. We're tied up 19-19. Chance Hunter putting up a three, no good. Rebound taken away by Coffee County. We work it down low to Amelotta. Bounce pass goes inside. And knocked out of bounds. It will go to Warren County. Cox will inbound for the pot here. No, actually, Brown will inbound. Slide rear court to Cox. Cox. Kirkendall back to Cox. Back to Kirkendall in front court. Back over to Cox. Over to Brown, left side. Here's a little floater up and good by Caden Desmarais. Here's Roman. High on the left-hand side. Down low to Nugent. Back out to Roman. Roman out top. Froslin giving off to Avalana. Avalana brings it near side. Cross-court pass going to Nugent. Fast pass goes inside to Shimwell. It's blocked. Cox comes away with it. Gets it to Kirkendall. Kirkendall in front court. Cross court pass going to Hunter. Down low. Desmaris back to Hunter. Open for a three. It is no good. Desmaris getting the rebound. He'll put it back up. It is good. Caden Desmaris. Desmaris with eight points coming the other way. Cross them missing. Put back up by Roman and it's good. They're going to call the foul on Hunter. Foul is Warren County, number 21, Chance Hunter. So his Roland first. puts it up and in. And he'll be at the line for one. 23-21, Warren County. Shot by Roman is no good. And a foul is going to be called on Roman on the rebound attempt. Kirkendall coming down with a rebound. Foul is on Coffee County, number 33. Phineas Roman. Chest underway. His first. The second half. Team first. Nate Hellrod checks back in for so KJ Brown. For Warren County, number 11, Nate Hellrod. Hellrod sends it into Terry. Double team on Terry. Back to Elrod. Elrod to Cox in front court. Cox, top of the key. Giving off to Terry. Now coach, <laughs> coach doing some coaching here. Terry 
Contact made, but no call. Terry lobs it down low for Desmaris. Back out to Terry at the wing. Terry wants to shoot a three, but can't do it right now. They get it to Cox, top of the key. Cox backs it up, gives to Terry. Terry at the wing. Back over to Cox. Warren Kelly being very deliberate. This possession. Green set for Cox. Inside it goes. Desmaris. Floater. Good. Caden Desmaris. Coming the other way. Here comes Nugent. Nugent giving out to Roman. Roman tries to fire it inside. Stolen away by the Pioneers. Cox. Oh, throws it too hard. Intended for Terry, but the pass way too far ahead of Terry, and he goes out of bounds. Warren Kelly leading 25-21. 5.23 to go, third period. Here at Charlie North at on senior night. Avalana works it to the right side to Crosslet. Over to Nugent, high on the left-hand side. Back out top it goes to Avalana. Ball deflected and stolen away by the Pioneers. Credit that to Desmaris. And a bad pass by Warren County. Crossland comes up with it. Here comes Avalana. He'll take it in. No good. Rebound taken by Nugent. He'll put it up and score. Brady Nugent. 25-23. Warren County by two. Elrod to Terry. Terry for a three. It is no good. Rebound battle for, and Elrod will come out with it. Giving back to Terry. Back to Cox. Cox near the midcourt circle. Four and a half minutes left to go in the third period. Cox will take it in. Off the glass, no good. Rebound taken by Crossland. Crossland to Roman. Roman in front court for the Raiders. Cross court pass going to Nugent. Nugent lays down the dribble. Brings it out between the circles. Now the Raiders will try to set something up. Nugent. Roman inside it goes to Shimwell. Shimwell puts it up. Good. Connor Shimwell. Game time, 25 apiece. Here comes Cox in front court. Cox. Here's a baseline jumper up and no good. And a foul is going to be called on the Raiders. Foul is going to go against Roman. His second. Well, it looked like Desmaris shot was going to go in, but it popped right out of there. Warren County will keep it. Seymour will inbound under the Warren County basket. Seymour sends it in to Elrod. Elrod to Terry, top of the key. He lays down the dribble. Works it to the left-hand side. Screen being set at the top of the key. Terry almost had his pocket picked. He gets it back. Gives the Seymour back to Terry. Terry brings it near side back to Seymour. Seymour to Elrod. Elrod. Seymour inside to Kirkendall. Lays it up. Good. 27-25 quickly coming the other way. Here comes Coffee County. Avalana. Inside to Roman, he puts it up, and it's good. There's a double team on Terry in backcourt. He needs some help. Gets it to Elrod. Elrod to Kirkendall. Kirkendall back to Elrod. Elrod. His pass is going to be stolen away by Crossland. Now Crossland tries to take it in. He'll be fouled. Foul will work against Nate Elrod. His second. Jackson Shimwell checks in for Holman. Warren County gets Cummings in. Raiders will have the ball. It comes into Shimwell. Shimwell spins, puts it up. It's good. 29-27. Raiders have taken the lead. Here comes Terry. Terry works it inside. Shot put up by Cummings. Good. Isaiah Cummings. Quickly coming the other way. Here comes Crossland. He kicks it out to Shemwell, and Shemwell hits the three. Shemwell now with 15. 32 29. Here's Terry. He puts it up. Off the glass. Good. Terry. 
Timeout is asked for. 2-10 to go in the third. It's 32-31 Raiders back in a moment. Head coach the white team is with the full timeout. Put him on the clock. Is with personal service and a friendly smile. Kevin Roten, your local Farm Bureau agent in Morrison, is committed to being a stable influence in our community and to be there for his customers through life's uncertainties. Farm Bureau Insurance has you covered for auto, home, life, annuities, and health insurance. Located at 6282 Manchester Highway, that's the light at Bridgestone. Contact agent Kevin Roten today at 931-668-7075 at 668-7075 and see why Tennessee turns to us. Citizens Tri-County Bank continues to stay on the leading edge of banking technology. Whether you choose to do your banking inside our lobby, your car, your office, or from your phone, we make managing your accounts convenient, safe, and easy. Our mobile apps, online websites, and ATM options give you more flexibility and more time to do the things that are most important to you. In Warren County, we are all pioneers, and we are Citizens Tri-County Bank, the only community bank you'll ever need. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. McMinnville's home for sports radio, 92.1. The ticket. Red Raiders lead 32 31. We're in the third period. 2 10 to go. Red Raiders with the basketball. Avalana will bring it up. Giving out to Shimwell. Shimwell has been absolutely unstoppable tonight. He has 15 points. Both Shimwells in. Here's a steal. Cummings coming out with it. Cummings will take it in, lays it up, good. What a play by Isaiah Cummings. Warren County has taken the lead, 33-32. to Apollana between the circles. Apollana being guarded by Terry. Screen set by Shimwell. Apollana high on the right-hand side. Works it inside, stolen away by Cummings. Cummings driving in, lays it up, cool. 35-32, Cummings with back-to-back -back layups. As we get down close to the one-minute mark in the third period, Shimwell, Jackson Shimwell over to Avalana. Out top it goes to Reed. Bounce pass inside for Shimwell. Should be a jump ball. It will be. And it will belong to the Raiders. Jalen Osborne checks it for Connor Shimwell. Jackson Shimwell will inbound under the Raider basket. Ball comes into Osborne. Loose basketball picked up by the Pioneers. Nice play by Grayson. Here comes Terry driving in. He'll be fouled, and he lays it up and in. Will it count? Didn't see an indication to count the basket, but I think they did. So Terry will be at the line shooting what? It is no good. Rebound taken by Grayson. There we go, call Grayson for traveling. 37 32. Warren County leading here in the third period, 42 seconds to go. Osborne will bring it up for the Raiders. Osborne giving to Nugent. 35 seconds to go. Nugent guarded by Terry, works it to Shimwell. Shimwell to Reed. Reed over to Osborne. Osborne works it out top to Nugent. Back to Shimwell, keeping it out high. Hoslet fires it to Osborne. Back to Shimwell over to Reed. Reed to Nugent, thir uh, 12 seconds to go. Osborne high on the left side, six seconds to go. Reed, four seconds to go. Nugent spins. And they'll call a foul. They're going to call a foul on Seymour, his second. That will send Brady Nugent to the line, shooting two. Half a second on the clock. Nugent. 
Shot by Nugent is good. Second shot for Nugent. He puts it up. It's no good. And that's the end of the third quarter. We play three here at Charlie Dalton in your score. Warren County 37. Coffee County 33. Back with the fourth quarter in just a moment. At Reddick Brown Ford, we know it takes hard work, dedication, and heart to succeed. All the local communities that we service are hardworking individuals that are the heartbeat of this country. Our goal at Reddick Brown Ford is to help you in whatever life throws at you. We specialize in maintaining up-to-date technology to help provide a faster and more efficient service for all their customers. Let us help you succeed in life at Reddick Brown Ford, located on Manchester Highway, 668-2177, or find us on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram. Happy Valentine's Month from all your friends at Gateway Tire and Service Center McMinnville. If your vehicle is due for some tender love and care, we've got quality tires, expert auto service, and if you use your Gateway Tire credit card, it is stress-free financing and low monthly payments. We look forward to serving you. Warren County's home for Sports Radio 92.1, The Ticket. We begin the fourth period. Got a good one going here at Charlie Dalton as Warren County leads Coffee County 37 to 33. The Pioneers will have the ball first as we begin the fourth period. Inbound pass coming into Trayton Terry. Now Terry just standing out near the midcourt line, dribbling the basketball. Now Nugent coming after it. Gives to Kirkendall, top of the key. Over to Seymour, down low goes to Desmaris. Out to Terry. Terry, top of the key. Takes it right side, back to Desmaris. Now a loose, almost a loose basketball as Osborne almost stole it. Cummings out to Terry. Nugent coming after it. Terry, near the midcourt line. Looks at left side. Cummings will take it in. Tries the layup. No good. Rebound taken by the Pioneers. Here is Kirkendall. He kicks it out to Seymour. Here's the three. It is no good. Saved inbounds by Coffee County. Two on one. And stolen by Seymour. Kirkendall in front court. Kirkendall loses the ball. Gets it back. Gives to Seymour. Out to Terry. What a wild series of events. Terry being guarded by Nugent. He'll put up a fallaway jumper. It's no good. Rebound taken away by Reed. Reed to Nugent. Nugent in front court. Nugent directing traffic. Feeling off to Shimwell. Cross court pass going to Reed. Inside to Nugent. He'll lay it up. That's good. 37-35, Warren County up by two. Terry brings it up for the Pioneers. He'll be met by Pucci. Works it high on the right side to Smaris. Smaris out top to Cummings. Cummings going to drive in. Puts it up, no good. A whistle and a foul is going to go against Dobson. Ashley is going to go against Shimwell. Jackson Shimwell with his second. Isaiah Cummings at the line, shooting two. It's up, no good. Cox checks back in for the Pioneers. Second shot for Cummings. It's good. 38-35. Pioneers up by three. Shimwell high on the right-hand side. Getting a screen. Shimwell giving off to Dobson. Dobson at the high post. Gives to Nugent. Nugent to Reed. Back out to Nugent. Grayson coming out to apply pressure. Nugent fires it left side. Osborne. 
Back around to Nugent. Inside it goes. Shot put up by Osborne. No good. Rebound taken by Cox. A foul is going to be whistled. On Ken, on Coffee Kelly. That is going to go against John Thompson. His second. Warren County up by three, 38 to 35. 522 to go in the game. Grayson will inbound to Cox. Cox being met by Nugent at midcourt. Cox brings it left to the right side, giving off to Seymour. Now top it goes to Cummings. Cummings to Cox. Keeping it out high. Cox takes the tempo. Brings it back out of the wing. Cox, top of the key. Works it left side to Cummings. Cummings is going to drive. Lays it up. No good, but a foul. That will go against Jackson Shemwell. This third. At the line will go Isaiah Cummings. It's good. Roman comes in along with Coughlin and Nugent for the Red Raiders. Second shot for Cummings. It is no good. Rebound taken by Osborne and he hits the floor hard. And they're going to call a foul on Grayson. Four forty-nine to go in the game. Thirty-nine to thirty-five. Pioneers up by four. Nugent will bring it up. Nugent top of the key. Fires it over to Crossland. They're taking that three away from Crossland. Back to Nugent. Nugent out top. Roman. Roman backs it up on the left hand side. Out top it goes. Here's a three from Reed, and it's in there. First basket for Cooper Reed. Warren County up by one, 39 to 38, 415 to go in the game. Cox guarded by Nugent. Fires it to Cummings on the right side. Cummings down low at the wing. Goes to Elrod. Elrod needing some help. Gives to Cummings out top to Cox. Cox. The lob goes to Cummings. Back out to Cox. Cox to Elrod. Elrod almost hands it knocked away. Gets it back. Gives to Cox. 3.40 to go. Cox guarded by Nugent. And a whistle away from the ball. This is going to be a foul on Cooper Reed. And this, I believe, will send Seymour to the line for one and one. Connor Shimwell comes back in for Coffee County. He's got 15 points so far. 3.34 to go in the game. Warren County up by one, 39-38. Sawyer Seymour at the line for one and one. It's good. Seymour with seven. Now Milana checks back in for the Breakers. Second shot for Seymour. It's good. 41-38, Warren County up by three. Nugent, top of the key. Nugent in the lane, puts it up. It is no good, but a foul is going to be whistled against the Pioneers. That will go against Seymour, his third. And this will send Nugent to the line, shooting two. First one, no good. Second shot for Nugent. 
It's no good. Warren County getting the rebound. Cummings coming down with it. Here comes Cox. He is stripped to the ball from behind. Shimwell comes out with it. Shimwell fires it over to Avalana. Back to Nugent, to Roman. And Warren County, or rather Coffee County, is going to take a timeout with 3.08 to go. Pioneers lead 41 to 38. Back in a moment. Pinnacle Orthopedics has two convenient office locations in McMinnville and Sparta and is one of Middle Tennessee's leading providers of orthopedic care. Now available, Rosa, a robot to aid knee replacements. This technology not only means better outcomes for patients, it means you can get the care you need closer to home. Pinnacle Orthopedics serves residents of McMinnville, Sparta, Smithville, Cookville, Manchester, Woodbury, Spencer, Dunlap, Crossville, and more. To get the best orthopedic care, call them today at 815-2663 or 738-4 when you have a financial question, can you easily reach your expert? Chase McGee at Coffee County Bank sets the standard for client accessibility. Give Chase the opportunity to serve you today. Give him a call, 931-224-8046. Coffee County Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Sports, all day, every day. Sports Radio, 92.1, The Ticket. Three minutes, eight seconds to play in this one as Warren County leads 41 to 38. Red Raiders will have the basketball. And down pass comes in. Here's Roman, top of the key. Roman fires it left side, Crossland. Now to Nugent, top of the key. Avalana high on the left hand side. Fires it out top to Roman. Roman's going to take it in. Puts it up and good. Warren County with the basketball up by one. Baseline jumper by Grayson. No good. Rebound taken by Nugent. Nugent to Avalana. Down low it goes to Crossland. Crossland outs out to Avalana. Warren County 41. Coffee County 40. Shimwell to Nugent. That's out to Crossland. Inside it goes to Shimwell. Shimwell spins, puts it up, no good. Rebound taken by Cummings. Cummings being double teamed, giving off to Terry. Terry in front court. Terry will take it in with a floater, no good. Rebound taken by the Red Raiders with under two minutes to go. Shimwell to roll on top of the key. Nugent. Out to Roman, out top, back to Nugent. Here's a three from the corner. It's good by Crossley. And the Raiders have taken the lead. Warren County in front court. Boy, almost stolen away by Coffee County. Warren County just trying to set something up, but then they try a three, miss it, but they get it back. 119 to go. Creighton Terry near the midcourt line. 43-41, Coffee County up by two. Pass goes to Isaiah Cummings. Cummings in the lane. He'll put up a floater. Good. Timeout is asked for one minute to play. We'll be right back. This is your state representative, Tennessee House Speaker Cameron Sexton. During this pandemic, unlike other states, our state's economy has remained strong. Tennessee is one of seven states that's shown positive growth. We did not shut down the economy. We kept it open. In Tennessee, we believe in you. During these difficult times, my philosophy is simple. You should be in charge of your decisions, not the government. Pay forward Cameron Sexton, State Representative Mark Elmore, Treasurer. People before politics, not just a slogan. It's my promise. At Reddick Brown Ford, we know it takes hard work, dedication, and heart to succeed. All the local communities that we service are hardworking individuals that are the heartbeat of this country. Our goal at Reddick Brown Ford is to help you in whatever life throws at you. We specialize in maintaining up-to-date technology to help provide a faster and more efficient service for all their customers. Let us help you succeed in life at Reddick Brown Ford, located on Manchester Highway, 668-2177, or find us on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram. Sports Radio. 
Radio, 24-7, 365, 92.1, The Ticket. This one coming down to the wire. We're tied 43-43 with one minute to play. Regulation. Girls game was a tight one with Coffee County winning by three earlier tonight. So a lot of good basketball, exciting basketball here tonight at Charlie Dawson on senior night. Avalana will bring it up for the Raiders. Let's we'll see if they try to play for the final shot. Connor Shimwell works it to Nugent. Right side. Out top to Roman. Roman to Shimwell. Shimwell out top to Avalana. 43 seconds to go. Here's Nugent to Coughlin. Given to Roman. High on the right side. Roman giving off to Nugent. 31 seconds to go. Good ball movement by Coffee County as they wind down the clock. 23 seconds to go. Game tied, 43-43. Raiders apparently going for the final shot. Avalana calling out the play. 14 seconds to go. Shimwell to Rollman. Over to Avalana. Eight seconds to go. Inside it goes. And a foul is going to be called on Warren County. Going to call the foul on Braylon Grayson. Grayson guilty the foul. He got a full timeout. We'll take it with him. Back in a moment. Why can I see my breath inside the house? That's because somebody told me last August not to worry about getting the heat checked until winter. Oh, that's why. Ah, uh, yep. Don't wait until the temperature drops to find out your heater isn't working safely. Call Black's Heating and Air while the frost is far away and have them check your heater now. That's Black's Heating and Air, 668-0785. This is Benny Black. And this is Seth Black with Black's Heating and Air. Call today, 931-668-0785. Benny's slogan at Black's Heating and Air is once you've had Black, you won't go back. Nothing says how much someone means to you quite like the gift of fine jewelry. And no one knows that better than Diamond Jewelry Company. For over 60 years, Diamond Jewelry has been there for that nervous engagement, the wedding vows, the anniversaries, the moms, daughters, and those special I love yous. David Stinson is a fourth generation jeweler committed to making those events the very best. Come see their showroom of one-of-a-kind jewelry in downtown McMinnville or follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Diamond Jewelry Company. They sell memories. Sports 24-7, 365. Sports Radio 92.1, the ticket. 5.8 seconds to go. We're tied 43-43. It was not a shooting foul, and the Red Raiders, that's only the 16 foul on Warren County. Red Raiders will have the ball under their own basket with 5.8 seconds to go. Here's an offensive foul on Coffee County. Somebody barreled into Kirkendall. And it is a an offensive foul on the Raiders with 4.1 on the clock. Foul is going to work against Avalana. So it'll be Elrod inbounding for Warren County. All right, last chance for Warren County to get a last second shot, and Coffee County is going to take a timeout. This will be a 30-second timeout, so we're going to keep it right here. Game tied, 43-43. We could be looking at overtime tonight. Warren County has to go the length of the court after a charge called against Coffee County. So a tough break against Coffey County, but Warren County will get it. Let's see if they can go the length of the court in 4.1 seconds. What a night here at Charlie Dalton. Exciting girls game that went down to the wire. Coffey County winning that one 48 to 45. Now this one going down to the wire as well. And we could be looking at overtime. Overtime. 
It will be Seymour inbounding. Main thing, you got to take care of the ball. Inbound pass comes into Terry. Three seconds, two seconds. Terry putting up a three. No good. Just off the back of the iron. And we go to overtime. Your score at the end of regulation. Pioneers 43, Red Raiders 43. Back with overtime in a moment. Our President's Day sale event is going strong all month long here at Jason Lewis Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. With over 19 acres of vehicles to choose from, we have the new car, truck, SUV, or minivan that fits your needs. And during the President's Day sales event, we have prices for everyone's budget. Plus, get approved in just minutes with our easy financing options. And our new cars come with our exclusive 1 million mile 10 year warranty. Come by today. We're conveniently located on 120 Auto Lane in Sparta, across from the Walmart. All offers with approved credit. See dealer for full details. Bank local, bank with Chase. Allow Chase McGee to use his 17 years of banking experience as your personal banker. Call Chase today, 224-8046 or 474-1976. Coffee Bank and Trust, a division of Coffee County Bank, member FDIC. Check out our website, 921ticket.com. Are you thinking about buying your first home or maybe downsizing or upgrading from your current home? Is it just time for a change? Paul Holder Realty and Auction Company can answer all your questions about buying or selling. Paul Holder Realty and Auction Company is a family-owned business that's been serving Middle Tennessee since 1955. Stop by their office today at 108 East Main Street in McMinnville, or you can call at 473-7321 to get the area's hardest-working real estate company working for you. Firm license number 33. Fun friends and food. That's Collins River Barbecue, located in historic downtown McMinnville. Stop by and dine in the best atmosphere for family and friends of Warren County. Let Collins River Barbecue take care of your big game meal with calf killer beer, wings, baby back ribs, and more by calling 507 Food. Like them on Facebook to keep up with special events. Our daddy has the best barbecue in town. Come on down to Collins River Barbecue. 117 East Main Street in historic downtown McMinnville. More sports? Visit our website, 90. 221ticket.com. We are in overtime. Warren County called for an offensive foul. Here's Avalana takes it in as a block. Rejected by Desmaris, taken away by Terry. Terry to Elrod, back to Terry out top. Cross court pass Seymour, down low to Desmaris. Desmaris, here's Terry for three, in and out, no good. A foul underneath will go against the Red Raiders. And this will be a one and one. They're going to call it on Desmaris, his second. And so this will send Connor Shimwell to the free throw line for one and one. Shimwell has led, Warren County, or led Coffee County in scoring with 15 points. First shot for Shemwell is good. Connor Shemwell, the quarterback of the Red Raider football team as well. Pretty big kid. Second shot for Shemwell is good. Two-point lead for Coffee County in overtime. Elrod in front court. Giving off to Kirkendall. Kirkendall to Terry. Terry will back it up. Being guarded by Avalana. Works it to the near side. Laying down the dribble is Elrod. Elrod picks it up. Gives to Terry. Terry being hounded by Avalana. Works it over to Elrod. Elrod to Terry. Here's the three. It is no good. Rebound taken by Kirkendall. Kirkendall spins, trying to get in there. Giving off to Elrod. Elrod with a floater. Good, and a foul. Nate Elrod with a floater. Puts it in, and he'll be at the line for one. Foul is going to go against Dane Croslett is first. Ashley is second. Elrod at the line for one. It is good. Bounced around a little while. Finally fell in. 
46-45, Pioneers up by one. Two and a half minutes to play in overtime. Roman to Abilana. Foslett, inside it goes to Roman. Out to Nugent, back to Roman. Thought about a three, Roman will take it in. He'll lay it up, it is no good. Rebound battle for Warren County trying to cover it up. I think we've got a foul on Coffee County. Seymour jumping on the ball. The foul is going to work against Avalana. I've got him three. 2-10 on the clock here in overtime. Warren County up by one, 46-45. Nate Elrod at the line, shooting one and one. It is rimmed out, no good. It's not one and one, it's two ends are in the double bonus. That one went in the cylinder and rolled back out. Second shot for Elrod. No good. But out of bounds, he'll stay with the Pioneers. Warren County will inbound under their own basket. Seymour out to Terry. He'll back it up. Two minutes to go in overtime. Warren County up 46-45. Terry battling against Avalana. Works it over to Seymour. Back to Terry. Terry bounce pass at the near wing. Works inside. Picked up by Terry. Terry works it to Desmaris. And he double dribbles. One forty-two to go in overtime. Warren County up by one. Raiders with the ball. Avalana in front court. Got a full timeout here. One thirty-four to go in overtime. Warren County up by one. Pack in a moment. For over 60 years, McMinnville and Warren County has trusted the Diamond Jewelry Company with memories that last a lifetime. Diamonds, wedding bands, anniversary rings, pearls, earrings, or gemstones. It's all right here in our hometown. Would you trust those precious memories to just anyone? David Stinson is a fourth-generation jeweler, and you can trust that he knows exactly what your gift of fine jewelry means to you. Visit him at their showroom on Main Street in downtown McMinnville. Diamond Jewelry Company. They sell memories. Hi folks, this is David Mason Simpson. On behalf of myself and my family, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for allowing DM Simpson Realtors and Auctioneers to serve your real estate and auction needs. I also wanted to welcome you to come by 303 West Main Street in McMinnville. If you don't have time to visit, you can find us online at dmsimpson.com or give us a call at 473-LAND. Remember, we're the friendly folks selling Middle Tennessee and beyond. Hit us up on the web, 921ticket.com. Back at Charlie Dalton, what a night. We're in overtime, 134 to go. Red Raiders will have the ball. Warren Kelly leads 46 to 45. Nugent will inbound side front court. Pass comes in back to Nugent. He'll lay it up, and it's good. Nicely set up and nicely executed by the Raiders. 47-46, Raiders up by one. 120 to go. For the basketball, it is Maris. Getting it to Seymour. Over to Terry. Terry will back it up. As we get down to the one-minute mark in overtime. Terry sends it to the wing. Elrod back to Terry. Screen being set. Terry will take it in. Lays it up. No good. Rebound taken. Here comes Coffee County. Avalana. Coffee County up by one with 46 seconds to go. And we got a foul called against the Pioneers. They'll call that on Elrod. This will be a one and one for Hoslid. One of the best shooters on this team. Only has seven points tonight. That's just because they've 
Been, a, been after him pretty good. This one's up and uh, rims around. No good. Warren Kelly coming down with a rebound. 39 seconds to go. Here comes Terry. Terry kicks it out to Elrod. Elrod. Kirkendall. Thought about a three. Kirkendall in the lane. Needing some help. Has it stolen away by Roman. And a foul is going to be called against Seymour. Fourth foul on Seymour. Very costly turnover right there. Roman will be at the line. He's got seven points tonight. One for two from the line. 47-46. Raiders lead with 25 seconds to go. This one's good. 48-46. Two-point lead for the Raiders here in overtime. Second shot for Roman. It's no good. Rebound taken away by the Pioneers. Elrod coming out with it. Here's Terry, top of the key. 17 seconds to go. Terry giving to Seymour. Around to Kirkendall. Kirkendall tries to take it in. Puts it up. No good. And a foul underneath. As the Raiders will have it with 6.1 on the clock. Elrod guilty the foul. Warren County just unable to hit the shots when they've got to have them here down the stretch. Hayden Avalana with six seconds to go. Can put it out of reach with a couple of hits here. This one is up and good. Second shot for Avalana. It's good. Timeout is asked for. 50 to 46 Red Raiders back in a moment. You try the hot and fresh Shakers pizza. If you have, then you know just how good it is. But what about the sandwiches? Shakers makes the best of those as well. Fresh breads, juicy meats, and melty cheeses that are simply delicious. Try the turkey sub, chicken bacon ranch, the Italian, or the Philly cheesesteak. Can't decide? Try the Shakers Club, piled high with all the good stuff. You can get a Shakers sub at the Come and Go Market on Lion Street in historic downtown McMinnville. Call in your game day order at 914-0007. Pizzas, subs, wings, and everything you need. That's Shakers. Security Federal is your small town community bank that's here for all your banking needs. From a small loan, a vehicle purchase, or that final dream home. This is Matt Ritchie, loan officer at Security Federal, and it would be my pleasure to help you along the way. Stop in to any of our three convenient locations to experience our warm atmosphere and see why we are the friendliest bank in town. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Surfing for Sports, 921Ticket.com. Well, six seconds to go in overtime, and the Raiders up by four. All Warren County can hope for is uh, to hit a three and get fouled, which is not likely with only six seconds to go. Elrod will inbound. He sends it into Terry. Terry's going to... Now, Elrod makes that uh, Kirkendall shooting a three. No good. And a heartbreaker for the Pioneers as they lose in overtime. Final score, Red Raiders 50, Warren County 46. We'll take a break, come back, and wrap it up from Charlie Dalton Gia in just a moment. People only know Ryan J. Moore for his legal practice, but most of us know Ryan as our friend and neighbor. Ryan is a familiar face in our community, coaching Little League ball games and emceeing local events. Ryan and his wife Ashley are raising their kids to be good stewards, just as they were raised. Ryan is devoted to Warren County and a proud supporter of Pioneer Basketball. That's why we turn to the law office of Ryan J. Moore.
Chase McGee and his team are excited to announce the opening of the full-service location of Coffee Bank and Trust, serving Warren County. Come visit us today at 1502 Smithville Highway. Allow Chase McGee to use his 17 years of banking experience as your personal banker. Call Chase today, 224-8046 or 474-1976. We look forward to taking care of all your banking needs. Go Pioneers! Coffee Bank and Trust, a division of Coffee County Bank, member FDIC. Here at Old South Flooring, we've been selling and installing all your flooring needs since 1980. Our showroom at 309 Garfield Street here in McMinnville has all the biggest brands in hardwood, carpet, tile, vinyl, luxury vinyl plank, and more. As a family-owned and operated company, we have a very simple motto. Quality you can stand on. We are a proud supporter of Pioneer Athletics. So on behalf of the entire team here at Old South Flooring, we just want to say, Go Pioneers! Phineas Roman had eight. Brady Nugent with 11. Dane Crossland with seven. Aiden Avalana with two. And uh, Cooper Reed with three. From the free throw line, Red Raiders were six of ten. For the Pioneers, they were led tonight by Trayton Terry with 12 points. Isaiah Cummings and Caden Desmaris each had 10. Nate Elrod with four. Sawyer Seymour had eight to the line. Warren County was six of 11. Earlier tonight, the Lady Pioneers were defeated by the Lady Raiders, ranked fifth in the state. And Lady Raiders come out of here with a 48-45 win that went right down to the wire. So up next for Warren County, we'll be at home here at good old Char uh, Charlie Dalton Gym as we'll take on the Franklin County Rebels and Rebelettes. Tip-off time, 6 o'clock, and we'll have the broadcast right here at 92.1, the ticket. That's going to wrap it up from Charlie Dalton tonight. We thank you for joining us. Thank you for listening, watching with us. We'll see you Monday. Until then, I'm Jay Walker. Good night, everybody.